Dressed as a 90 cat to work for the country author, Sansan Zhuju copy the commander of the special operations team, Qin Xiao, who was seriously injured and on the verge of death, was carried back to the mountain base by the tiger. I heard that the guard soldiers were called out by a very beautiful Persian cat that day and found Captain Qin. This rare incident spread to the base, and the whole base became a sensation. Bai Xiaxia has been very worried after dressing as a cat. She understands animal language and can eat fruit and catch fish. But it's useless, animal friends don't eat well. She hadn't eaten cooked meat in her mouth for half a year, and it was so light she was going crazy. She is thoughtful, thinking about the cat's second half of life being a house cat is good, and there is a shoveling officer to serve. It is difficult to find a suitable shovel officer, life is not guaranteed, and the risk of wandering is high. So, she found an iron job and worked for the country. Edible Guidelines This article is about half and half of cats and cats solving cases in daily life. It accounts for a lot of daily life and interacts with various small animals a lot. The emotional line must be the heroine turned into a human being. Adults have emotional scenes, but minors do not. Content Tags, Chronological Growth Whimsical Search Keywords, Protagonist by Xiaxia supporting role, Qin Xiao one sentence introduction, become a cat, but also live seriously in tension, no matter what situation you are in in life, you can't treat yourself badly a brief review of the work, by Xiaxia accidentally turned into a Persian cat and entered the wild jungle to survive. By Xiaxia, who turned into a cat, did not complain, but repositioned herself and lived an active life. She became a communication link between animals and humans, and contributed to protecting animals and fighting crime. The rhythm of this article is brisk and interesting. After Bai Xiaxia became an animal, she slowly learned about the world of animals in the process of getting along with different animals. The article involves a lot of knowledge about the protection and reproduction of wild animals, which can help readers get a preliminary understanding of the habits and status quo of different species of wild animals. The cold touch on his back barely brought him back to his senses, but it still had no effect. The gunshot wound on the belly was untreated, and he was just wrapped in some bandages. Excessive fatigue, dizziness and the sequelae caused by massive blood loss occurred at the same time, all relying on strong willpower to persist until now. I changed someone else and fell down earlier. The right hand wearing black fingerless gloves was covered in blood, and Qin Xiao didn't care. Bending, digging, paving, the usual movements were slow and difficult, Qin Xiao sat back with trembling hands. The breath was heavy and rapid, and the man was half paralyzed on the ground, his muscles flabby. Qin Xiao is going to die. He has no excess emotions. The hypothermia from the blood loss made him unresponsive and confused. Deal with everything, and make sure that the comrades who come later can find something. He didn't worry about it, and after relaxing, he felt exhausted, the pain kept baring his teeth, and the sweetness in his mouth became more and more intense. On the verge of death, Qin Xiao had no fear on his face, he wiped the blood on his face, and made a slow and calm judgment, deep in the jungle, the roads are intricate. The trees are overgrown, with deep roots and luxuriant leaves, and people will leave no trace if they run over. The mountains stretched long, and he was seriously injured and could not wait for support. My comrades must be crazy. In a hurry, he dragged his wounds to deal with the group of desperados, and it was considered unlucky for them to be driven into the vicinity of the base station by himself. Qin Xiao's scalp exploded, his thoughts were stagnant, and his muscles were stiff and unable to move. Adult tigers over two meters in length are fat and strong. While walking, the tiger looks majestic, and the icy cruelty belonging to the carnivore is clearly visible between the occasionally exposed sharp teeth. The white is terrifying. The colorful tiger is condescending and approaching its prey step by step. Confronting the piercing beast eyes, Rao used Qin Xiao's concentration, and his palms were not sweating, and his back was tense. The Adam's apple rolled up and down uncontrollably, and under the physiological reaction, Sweat dripped down his neck, his body stiffened, 
and he didn't dare to move. The tiger paced closer, and Qin Xiao smiled bitterly. Bad luck is coming, and I can't stop it. If you change the time, use his body pistol method to solve the problem with one shot. Qin Xiao is not a character waiting to die, but a fierce and unyielding temperament. Tear and bit off a piece of flesh from his lower lip, held the dagger tightly, and stood up slowly and firmly with trembling legs. The bloodstained soldier exudes sharpness, just waiting for the tiger to pounce. Qin Xiao, who was at the end of the arrow, did not withstand the fierce attack of the tiger. The flesh claws pressed on the chest of Qin Xiao, who was seriously wounded. The tiger's eyelids drooped, and the barbed tongue kept licking his mouth. The greedy and eyes lingered on Qin Xiao, and reluctantly retreated. Qin Xiao thought he would be buried in the mouth of the beast, but found that the tiger obviously wanted to eat him, so he held back. Qin Xiao frowned, Don't eat me? Want to carry yourself? Most animals have the habit of storing food, and tigers should be no exception. If he doesn't eat himself, is he not hungry at this time? This is also not correct. Which tiger would drag back a live animal to increase the risk? Usually they are killed first and then dragged back with the corpse. Qin Xiao is too tired. Exhausted, she ran for more than two hours in the mountains and forests with severe injuries, confronting the outlaws. After the battle was resolved, he confronted the tiger again, exhausting all his energy. Now she is weak and weak, her eyes are dizzy, and she faints. Therefore, I did not find that the tiger was not going deep into the jungle. Instead, he carried him out of the mountain forest, turned to a dirt road that was obviously created by people, and went in the direction that the wheel ran over. There was a little soldier at the fork in the mountainside, and he looked around blankly and found nothing. Turning around and wanting to leave, a fluffy cat's paw stretched out beside it, and the tip of the paw hooked the leg of the dark green military uniform, Meow. L. Eugenhua was very anxious, and did not know what happened to the missing Qin team. Captain Qin was wounded by a gunshot and chased into the mountains alone. He was so anxious. Everyone is worried. He glanced at the snow-white Persian cat who was squatting beside his legs, and took the initiative to hold down his trousers. This Persian cat is very beautiful, white and clean, with loose and tight fur. Noble and elegant, with a long fluffy tail waving leisurely. Heterochromatic pupils are like human nature, full of aura. At this moment, the snow-white Persian cat raised his chin dignifiedly, looked at him vigilantly with white eyes, and refused to let him go. Meow! Bai Zyaxia shouted again, the tip of her claws hooked El Eugenhua's trousers, and patted his calf with his claws, not letting him go. Just kidding, there's another seriously wounded soldier brother. Have pity on her weak and helpless cat and kitten, is it easy to hook people all the way from the base to here? Still here waiting. She abolished the people who she had brought with her strength, and if she ran away, she would lose a lot. Brother Bing is too seriously injured, so he can't call the big flower to carry it too far, it is better to call someone over. It is best to seek a doctor. It's just that the distance is far away, otherwise, Bai Zyaxia wouldn't be too busy to find someone until now. Bai Zyaxia has been wandering at the gate of the base for the past two days. She knew that the base troops stationed in the mountains sent two or three hundred people into the mountains, all over the mountains to find the seriously injured brother. They came and went, each in a hurry, with solemn eyes, across the wooden warehouse of weapons, Bai Zyaxia thought about communicating directly with the chasing troops. But a cat of hers can't speak human language, and she doesn't dare to do anything too human. Fortunately, she is smart and runs fast. No choice but to go to the base. This site is also difficult, her natural beauty is hard to give up, and she was almost caught as a cat. This El Eugenhua is a straightforward baby carefully selected by Bai Zyaxia. Young and soft-hearted. Everyone arrived, but he couldn't be told to run away, and Awa immediately carried them over. Meow. Bai Zyaxia hurriedly shouted twice, her meowing soft. 
Snow White Little Paws firmly stepped on Eljujian Hua's trouser legs, don't worry, it's coming soon. Eljujian Hua is a good-natured, 16-year-old man who has just joined the army. There's nothing here, why did you ask me to come here? Eljujian Hua squatted down and looked at Bai Ziaxia, he didn't know why, he always felt that this cat was different, with ordinary eyes cats are different and have a special feeling. When I was in the country, I always heard from my grandmother that black cats can understand human nature and ward off evil spirits. He hasn't seen it, he doesn't know. But Thuxin, so, on duty for the past two days, seeing Bai Ziaxia strolling at the gate of the base, he couldn't help but take his heart. Seeing that Bai Ziaxia hooked someone, he took a few steps and looked back, as if he wanted someone to follow him. Unfortunately, no one wants to answer. Occasionally go there and come back in no time. After all, a cat, who would take a cat's wishes seriously? Isn't that funny? El Eugene Hua wanted to take a look on the first day, maybe the cat had something to tell them. Tell me about this to my comrades, who laugh at him for being nervous, don't think too much. Animal psychics are all stories, don't be superstitious, we are people who talk about science. Think about training and learning, don't daydream all day. Today, Bai Ziaxia came over again, but El Eugene Hua couldn't hold back and asked someone to help. I ran behind the Persian cat who kept dangling at the entrance of the base. Now look, the trees are deeply rooted, and the messy fallen leaves and silt are stepping on the solace of the feet. The road was empty with a fart. El Eugene Hua removed Bai Ziaxia's claws, got up and left. Still laughing at myself in my heart, I really think too much. Bai Ziaxia saw that El Eugene Hua was going to leave, and was anxious. He quickly jumped in front of El Eugene Hua, blocked the road and didn't tell him to go, bared his teeth and kept meowing. Don't go, don't go, my soldier brother is dying. Waiting for you to call someone for help. The Persian cat is also a little big. El Eugene Hua walked around the Persian cat that was spinning around, without even looking at it, and strode back. I thought to myself, I can't be stupid again. Now the base is busy dispatching people to find the whereabouts of Captain Sheen. Everyone was in a hurry, and he was too stupid to compete with a cat. The more El Eugene Hua wanted, the bigger and faster he stepped. Thinking about the fantasy he had when he came, he hurriedly shook his head and threw it out. What a whim! How can miracles happen so easily, no one can find Captain Sheen. He put his hope on the cat, and he was so stupid that he was bubbling. It's just a cat, an animal. Meow shout! Bai Ziaxia's eager meowing was drowned in the shocking low beast roar. El Eugene Hua and Bai Ziaxia turned their heads almost at the same time, surprises appeared in the Persian cat's blue and green pupils, El Eugene Hua stood stiffly on the spot as if struck by lightning he got up, stiff as ice. Gritting his teeth, a colorful tiger paced towards him, no more than ten meters away, with bright fur and sharp teeth. The meow big flower is finally here. Bai Ziaxia's heart fell back to her stomach. Dawa is a beautiful male Siberian tiger with a round head. He has just reached adulthood and is three and a half years old this year. It is very playful on weekdays, and its temper is explosive and dry. It looks like a mature tiger with strong back and strong muscles. It seems to be very scary, but it is actually a sad mother tiger who was kicked out of the nest by his mother to stand on his own for three months. Sensual, irritable, and greedy. Bai Ziaxia had no choice but to coerce and coax the four- or five-year-old cub Dawa to watch Brother Bing. In fact, Bai Ziaxia wanted to stay where she was and watch over the seriously injured brother soldier. However, Bai Ziaxia is too small to support Qin Xiao. And Qin Xiao was seriously injured and smelled of blood, fearing that it would attract other large beasts. The big flower is better to stay it has strong aggressiveness and can deter other beasts. And call the big flower close to the base, the danger is too great, and there may be something big. Carrying people in the past is too smart and conspicuous. 
Vizayaxia did not dare to let Dawa take risks, so she considered and chose such a plan again and again. Although it was also very risky and exposed herself, she couldn't wait for her to die, and it was better than Dawa's exposure. On the way, Vizayaxia was worried that Dawa would not be able to bear the greed, and was afraid that Qin Xiao would be swallowed by this glutton in advance. Vizayaxia stopped Liu Jianhua from leaving, and her heart was beating. For fear that the big flower will be wildly beastly, he devoured his brother and turned around and ran away. Fortunately, her education was very successful. Miao Dawa, well done, there are stories to hear. Bai Xia Xia Cat waving its paws diligently, and slapped rainbow farts with a flick of its tail. The big flower was bubbling with joy, but she just nodded twice with her big furry head. The tail is swaying wildly at the back, left and right, up and down, shaking DJ. Yet. I am the best. Xia Xia said that it is called the king of beasts by the two-legged beast, the beast on the beast, and will be the king of the mountain in the future. Mom also said that he will grow up to be the best tiger hunter. Dahua doesn't quite understand the meaning of the king of the mountain, so she is boring. But know that you are the best. The stupid and ignorant two-legged beast, although it loves to toss something useless, but it is very insightful at this point. Dawa saw the praise of the stupid two-legged beast, and then she reluctantly carried people. After all, Xia Xia also said that the two-legged beast was realistic. If he didn't save people, the two-legged beast turned his face and refused to recognize the tiger, and turned his head to call the king of ugly pigs and beasts next door. They are real. Fat tiger disagrees, fat tiger must not become a tiger under a pig. He, the king of beasts, the fat tiger, is destined to suppress his old enemy, the ugly pig, for the rest of his life. You can't hold back yourself at this moment, a greedy mother Baohu didn't mention that he was greedy for the smell of blood several times, and licked Qin Xiao's saliva at the beginning. Ao Miao Bai Xiaxia did not forget to comfort Liu Jianhua, who was frightened into a sculpture. It raised its white claws, patted his trouser legs, and ran gracefully to the flower. Liu Jianhua had long known that there were beasts in the Qilian Mountains, and he would practice with the big troops on weekdays. Now alone, Liu Jianhua wants to cry but has no tears, his heart and liver tremble. My feet were so soft that I didn't know what to do. Under extreme panic and fear, Bai Xiaxia was forgotten by him long ago. Liu Jianhua is full of remorse, he should listen to his comrades. Take the wrong medicine and treat the cat as a serious matter, and it will be bad luck if you get water in your head. Now. Liu Jianhua does not have Qin Xiao's battle-hardened, steel-like willpower. Dawa let out a low growl, Liu Jianhua was more like a frightened rabbit, squatting and squatting on the ground. Adrenaline was secreted frantically, his throat was tight, Liu Jianhua's fingers were shaking, and he didn't know what to do so he could only continue to swallow saliva in vain. Meow by Xiaxia meows a lot. Liu Jianhua turned a deaf ear, his face was pale and his head was full of sweat. The eyes are wide open, and he will faint in horror in the next second. Bai Xiaxia hurried back to him, and it was useless to meow piercingly. She raised her claws in anguish what a waste. Listening to Dawa, the seriously injured brother soldier can stand up and fight in the face of Dawa. Blood. The cat's sharp curved nails cut Liu Jianhua's skin. The pain in his arm barely brought him back to his senses. The mountain wind blew his face, Liu Jianhua's clothes were soaked with sweat, and the coldness filled his head, causing Lingling to shiver. Bai Xiaxia squatted beside Liu Jianhua's legs, her fluffy cat face was covered by fur. Maybe it's been too long with the big flowers, Bai Xiaxia is used to getting along with the big flowers. Some people underestimate the fear and fear that ordinary people have when facing large beasts. Physiological responses are beyond human control. Miao Liu Jianhua returned to God. His eyes remained sluggish, but looking at it, his normal thinking ability was restored. Bai Xiaxia hurried to the side of the lying big flower, the meat pad stretched out hook-like nails, 
hooking Qin Xiao's battle uniform. The pretty little white face pushed the ground with her hind legs and raised her front paws. This action was difficult to maintain for a long time, and it was difficult for Bai Ziaxia to do it. But it is more reluctant to open its mouth and bite. After trying several times, Bai Ziaxia arched her head in hard, and finally raised Qin Xiao's weak arm. The posture of the big flower lying on the ground did not give Liu Jianhua any sense of security. But the tiger didn't look like it was going to eat him. Bai Ziaxia and the tiger seemed to be in dialogue. One after another, Miao and O sounded in his ears, and Liu Jianhua felt a little different. Familiar combat uniforms, blood-stained corners. That, that is. Captain Qin. L. Eugene who was pounding heart stopped for a moment. He stood up abruptly, and in anxiety, he stumbled again. After sliding forward twice along the inertia, L. Eugene who didn't feel the pain, and even forgot the existence of Dewa at that moment. He almost staggered, rolling and crawling onto the big lace. Captain Chin. Seeing a familiar face, L. Eugene who his throat trembled in surprise, and his voice trembled uncontrollably. Liu Jianhua hurriedly picked up the messy Qin Xiao and carefully placed it flat on the ground. After briefly checking Captain Qin's injury, Liu Jianhua rushed to the base without thinking about it. By Ziaxia, Miao Liu Jianhua was stunned. He tentatively bypassed by Ziaxia to carry Qin Xiao, and the Snow White Cat's claws accurately pressed his hand. Liu Jianhua looked at the Snow White Persian Cat elegantly licking its paws and suspiciously at the Siberian tiger lying nearby. Between the light and flint, Liu Jianhua blurted out, Should I call someone? Bai Ziaxia didn't seem to hear it, like a normal cat, tilting her head. Beautiful big eyes like grapes are clear and clean, revealing confusion. As if to say, What do you say? Liu Jianhua clenched his fist, Yes. He was overjoyed for a while forgetting that Captain Qin was seriously injured. He carried him and ran to the base by himself, which would definitely cause more injuries. The medical team has to be called. Liu Jianhua was very entangled, looking at Bai Ziaxia and Big Flowers. I think this cat's eyes are very transparent, like a human being. Otherwise, when would you call him here? I stared at it for a while, and felt like I was thinking too much. He looked at Bai Ziaxia carefully, the clean and cute cat face was much prettier than ordinary cats. If he really wanted to explore it, he thought it was just a cat. It's true that it's pretty and cute, and the rest, forget it. What can cats know? It could also be that the cat was kept by someone and trained to be extra smart. There are always some pets that are extraordinarily smart, and it doesn't happen that domestic cats and dogs save their owners. Persian cat in front of me may be trained. It's like a police dog that can follow a password without understanding why. This Persian cat should be too. Finally, he fixed his eyes on the face of Captain Chin who was unconscious and seriously injured, and stomped his teeth. This cat is very smart if he can lead him to find someone. Should he believe it? He hesitated, Captain Chin's injury was too serious. Fortunately, the tiger carried it steadily and did not complete the secondary damage. He carried it on his back all the way, and under the bumps, he would harm Captain Qin instead. Liu Jianhua didn't dare to make a decision to leave Captain Qin's life to the cat. It's crazy. But, he met Bai Ziaxia's transparent and quiet vertical pupils, where Liu Jianhua's sweaty and anxious face was reflected like a lake. He looked at Bai Ziaxia, who was squatting with his big head resting in the middle of his fleshy paws, his chin swaying wildly. Liu Jianhua took a deep breath and clenched his sweaty hands, he decided to believe in this miracle. Tigers can carry people over, and they won't eat Captain Qin on the road. Maybe God opened his eyes and didn't kill Captain Qin. In the countryside, there are always some mysterious animal psychic stories circulating, this cat is definitely here to save Captain Qin. After Liu Jianhua made a decision, he no longer hesitated, and stood up neatly. He had seen the trainer give the police dog a password, 
so he imitated the trainer's appearance and tried to imitate it. L. Eugene Hua regards Bai Zyaxia as a trained cat, although I don't know who would be free to train a pet cat, but now, I want to thank that person. Mao, watch Captain Chin for a while, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. Don't leave. Sit down. The voice was still in my ears, and L. Eugene Hua had run away like an arrow from the string. Squatting Persian cat, where is the big fool, still sitting, I have been sitting. On the road, L. Eugene Hua's heart beat like a drum, both surprise and joy, and there is a kind of dreamlike trance. My God, he found Captain Chin, and the cat took him to find it. L. Eugene Hua didn't dare to stop. When he approached the gate of the base, he almost bumped into it. Comrade Ein Arms Wang Dezu, who was on duty for him, carried a gun on his shoulder, and his face was expressionless. Quick, quick, call the medical team. Soldiers on duty are not allowed to talk to people at will, and the discipline is strict and strict. L. U. Jianhua, who rushed over, blushed like a soldering iron, and he didn't care about anything else. Holding Wang Dezu, he was out of breath and said, Hurry up, call someone, I have found Captain Qin. Captain Qin is seriously injured and is at stake. It must be done as soon as possible. Wang Dezu was stunned, everyone was looking for Captain Qin in the mountains, and they went crazy. The head of the regiment gave orders again and again, and hundreds of people entered the mountain, like water drops into the sea, without making a sound. The comrades only found the corpses of two outlaws and the traces of the gun battle in the mountains. The remaining outlaws and Captain Chin disappeared without a trace. The same live without people, dead without corpses. The big guy is still looking for it, but in fact he is almost desperate, I am afraid that only the body of Captain Chin can be found. It is hot and the wound is prone to inflammation. Captain Chin dragged his severely injured body and killed two desperados. There is no support yet, and he is in the mountains and forests haunted by wild beasts. Unless there is a miracle, he must survive. Wang Dezu had thousands of doubts in his heart. After so many days in the mountains, the big guy almost turned the mountain over, but he didn't see Captain Chin's shadow. This kid L. Eugene who wandered around, and it took only ten minutes for him to go back and forth, and he found Captain Chin. So good luck. Now is not the time to say this, Wang Dezu hurriedly ran to the base, you report it, I will call the medical team. Two or three minutes before and after, two military off-road vehicles rushed out of the base like lightning. The head of the regiment Song Bei went with the car in person, and the political commissar He Dong Miao excitedly recontact the military hospital and experts at the base, Yes, yes, I have found someone, hurry up and send someone to prepare, definitely treat our comrades as quickly as possible. L. U. Jianhua sat in the passenger seat, anxious to give directions to everyone, and answered Song Bei's questions from time to time. Everyone was anxious and worried, and looked forward to finding Qin Xiao quickly. Little comrade, did you leave the unconscious Captain Qin alone on the side of the road? Song Bei had seen strong winds and waves. Suddenly, most of the excitement and joy faded away. The base where they are stationed is in the deep mountains and old forests. The further you go to the depths of the jungle, the more frequent the beasts appear. The soldiers were in groups, and there were wooden warehouses in their hands. The beasts were afraid of the crowd, so they did not dare to approach. But these days, large troops have entered the mountains to search for people, disturbing many beasts in the mountains. All kinds of animals scurried around. Qin Xiao was unconscious, and he was seriously injured. Those tigers, leopards, wild wolves are most sensitive to the smell of blood, and there are a few desperados who have not been found until now. Hey! Song Bai Sung had goosebumps and sweat on his forehead. He almost patted his thigh in exasperation, and frantically urged the driver, Hurry up! Hurry up! The people who followed were also nervous because of Captain Song's words, and the atmosphere was so depressed that they could hardly breathe. They were stunned by the good news that Qin Xiao was found, 
and they were so surprised that they completely forgot about other things. Now being reminded by the head of the team, everyone's hearts are raised in their throats. The driver was also anxious, but he didn't dare to step on the accelerator all the way. The mountain road was rough, so he could only speed up as much as possible. This road is still going to the deep mountains. On weekdays, at most, it is run for the zipper training team members. Occasionally someone following a car will not be too fast and can pass, but the road conditions are rough and difficult to pass quickly. On weekdays, there are other ways to go to the mountains. The occupants of the car were shaken, and the driver was covered in cold sweat. Captain Sheen is right in front of him, one second, maybe he can save people. Seeing that El Eugene Hua hesitated to say something, Song Bei covered his head with a sigh, feeling that he should not scold the hero who found Qin Xiao, and added, You are also afraid of bumping back and forth. To aggravate Xiao Qin's injury, I understand, it's just a bit of a misconception. You're young and indifferent. I found the excitement of Captain Qin, and the excitement was splashed with ice and cold water on the head, and the big guy was silent. Captain, although there is no one guarding Captain Qin's side, but... In fact, El Eugene Hua wanted to say it. But on the way, the regiment leader kept his mouth shut and asked him about Captain Qin's injury, but he never found a chance to speak. Now the people in the car are like morning concubines, El Eugene Hua dryly said, it's still quite safe. I told them that. If nothing happens, they will guard Captain Qin in place. Song Bei was confused, and El Eugene Hua's forward didn't fit the description, you said just now that you can't bring Xiao Qin back by yourself, why do you say that Xiao Qin will be fine now? Little comrade, Song Bei said earnestly, you have made great achievements. Although things are not safe, don't put too much pressure on them. It's not good to lie. El Eugene Hua, who was not good at words, scratched his head, not knowing what to say. He considered his words, and the medical team shouted anxiously from the car behind him, Captain, we can't go any faster. Song Bei's car was full of soldiers who rushed to catch up, just in case. The car was bumpy and it was okay, the medical team behind the car carried first aid equipment. There is nothing wrong with people bumping, but if there is a problem with the machine, the problem will be big. Let's go first, you all slow down and follow. Song Bei thought about it and asked the first few doctors to change to the front car. He was driving forward in a fast-paced car, and the car behind him, which was equipped with some first aid equipment, slowed down and followed. The wheel of the car ran over, and the dust was flying all the way. After changing people before and after, El Eugene Hua, who was interrupted, thought about it, and said to Song Bei seriously, head of the regiment, I didn't know how to tell you just now, think about it, let me tell you directly. Don't believe me, what I said. It's all true. I'm on duty these days, and a Persian cat is wandering around the gate of the base, as if looking for someone. I always listen to cat psychics in the countryside. The cat took me to find Captain Chin, who was still carried by the tiger on his back. Maybe it was too shocking, Song Bei's face was blank, and his face was expressionless, are you serious? Song Bei has not heard this kind of story for many years. El Eugene Hua knew that Song Bei didn't believe it when he heard this tone, Captain, can I lie to you? Wait, the patrol captain next to him in charge of search and rescue was very strange. Unlike Song Bei, who had a blank face and interjected with a smile, Persian cat? Is it white? El Eugene Hua was stunned for a moment, then nodded in surprise, Deputy Guo also knows, have you seen it? A dozen people were sitting in the car, as well as three doctors from the medical team. All of them are so dumbfounded that they can't wait to listen to rare things with bunny ears. Song Bei was also surprised. Guo Chaoming left early in the morning and stayed in the mountains at night. I was so tired for two days and two nights that I didn't sleep a night. This morning, I was urged by him three times and four times before I returned to the base. 
El Yu Jianhua met the cat at the entrance of the base, and Guo Chaoming was jumping in the mountains, how could he meet him? Oh! I just think that cat is very strange, so smart. Guo Chaoming patted his thigh, regretting, if this were the case, I would have gone with it if I had known. The head of the group's face is even darker, this cat is quite popular. Guo Chaoming has seen it before, so it is true. The little comrade is really simple and honest, not like a nonsense. Guo Chaoming thinks of Bai Ziaxia and is very strange, head, I'm not telling you when I come back today, but a strange thing happened to the search and rescue. This is the Persian cat. I rested with the team members and met this cat three or four times. The old man squatted on the stone and stared at me. The cat was snow white, handsome and good looking. It appeared in the mountains, and it was quite scary, like a fairy. Guo Chaoming thinks about it now and finds it interesting, where did you think it came to find us? I thought it was raised by a forest ranger, and came to beg for food when it was hungry. Guo Chaoming explained the encounter with Bai Ziaxia in detail, and after finishing speaking, he patted El Yujianhua on the shoulder with a sigh, tisk tisk admiringly, it's really new. It shouldn't be done, it's a great thing, Captain. Knowing that I can't hook up here, I'm going to the base to hook up. Guo Chaoming gave El Yujianhua a thumbs up, you deserve your credit, who would have thought that cats could lead people to find them? Captain Qin. It's just you. Dr. Zhang with the team, Snow White Persian Cat? Oh, I've seen it too, but the one with heterochromatic pupils is very beautiful. It's not bad that the little comrade can follow him. Song Bei, have you all met? Why do I live in the mountains and go to the base, but I haven't seen it before? What's the discrimination? El Yujianhua blushed and blushed, and was embarrassed to accept the compliment, what's wrong with me, it's all because the Qin team is lucky, and God is willing to help. Otherwise, at this time, the cat appeared. The whole car was full of curiosity and wanted to see how smart the cat was. Ah! The bored and squatted by Ziaxia rubbed her ears with her cat's paws, and the bases of her ears were itchy and uncomfortable. Bai Ziaxia scratched hard. The Persian cat is a beautiful, elegant, lovely, and extravagant breed. The long coat hides dirt, parasites, and other things. Bai Ziaxia came through the wild jungle, pay special attention to this. For fear of getting dirty and sick, she often takes a bath and wears her back. Later, she also found a good place to be a horse and a chicken. The house of the white-haired wild monkey in the fifth tree, by the river northwest of the base. Buy haircuts and massages from them. Mother monkeys are smart, Bai Ziaxia understands when they say it. Bai Ziaxia is generous, and they are very happy and willing. A large family provided hair-turning services, and every time it was futile at the beginning, in the first two times, Bai Ziaxia didn't find any dirty things from herself. Bai Ziaxia hesitated, thinking that there may be a mutation in her own time travel. Maybe it won't grow dirty. Later, I was thinking about the monkey's massage service, and I couldn't stand the cleanliness. I went for the third time, this time, the monkey mother diligently found several small squirming bugs. Bai Xiaoxia's legs were weak, and her mouth was so dry that her scalp was numb. Malu bought a wild monkey membership for a monthly subscription. Oh, it doesn't know if the bug was found from itself. Bai Ziaxia seriously suspects that she has been played, but there is no evidence for it. The white-haired monkey family was inspired by Bai Ziaxia, and now they have opened stores. There are all kinds of strange customers, and the number of them is small, which cannot be regarded as extra income. When Bai Ziaxia found out, her face was numb, the animals are smart, and no one has anything to do. The thin red cat ears scratched more and more itchy, Bai Ziaxia scratched it with restraint and finally put down her claws. Turn her face, the road was still quiet and still, Dawa was impatient, and her big tail swayed from side to side. Xia Xia, let's go. Let's go to the monkey's house, it's comfortable. Dawa doesn't know what massage is 
but he knows it's comfortable. Bai Ziaxia refused to be a Siberian tiger who wanted to be a monkey and kill a chicken with a cat face. For the 27th time, he wanted to charge tuition from the monkey family. You go, the monkey mother is not there, no monkey dares to do it for you. Dawa thinks about it too, her big head is languid, oh. Wait here, I'll ask someone to give you a real massage. Some people in the monkeys massaged vigorously. Dahua tangled her fat face into a ball, smashed her mouth, and licked her mouth with her big tongue. Bai Ziaxia calmed down the big flower with ADHD again, her cat face was sad. I don't know if I should take this opportunity to find myself a shovel officer. The base is close, it can not only take a hot bath and eat cooked food, but it is also very convenient to enter the mountain. When I first passed through, the green lotus mountain was full of life and everything was sprouting. It was indeed a fine spring, and it was okay for Bai Xiaxia to take a cold shower in the river during the day. It's midsummer now, and it's almost autumn. Bai Xiaxia hasn't eaten Malatang for more than half a year, drinking milk tea, her mouth is so light that a bird will come out. Life in the wild is hard. Qualian Mountain is full of dangers. Bai Ziaxia almost lost her life several times, and reluctantly relied on her own ingenuity to survive until now. Summer and spring can survive, autumn and winter. Bai Ziaxia tilts her head, she can't steal the dried fruits and mushrooms that Squirrel Ziazu has worked so hard to hide. She had nothing to eat when she first arrived. I just found the nest of Xiao Zhou, and I was full after eating. The thief was caught on the spot by Xiao Zhou and he cried so hard that Bai Ziaxia felt guilty at the moment. Steal food from baby squirrels less than one year old, ahem. Bai Ziaxia, it's not impossible, anyway, I did it the first time. Isn't it normal for cats to steal food? First try to find a shovel officer to take care of yourself, it is best to have a car, a house, a fixed job, a gentle temperament and a cat lover. Don't look too bad or she won't have an appetite for food. Now there is a good one. Bai Ziaxia glanced at Qin Xiao secretly, and found a shovel officer to try to live with everyone. Well, so happy to decide. Anyway, she knows all the secret treasure troves of Xiao Gang, and she has the final say on whether or not to partner. This idiot thinks he understands the three caves of the cunning rabbit, and he is a boss after hearing it. With her back, she secretly searched for a new storage spot, wouldn't she know? Humph! Bai Xiaxia's cat face couldn't stop the villain's evil, and licked the cat's claws roguely. That's right, proud. In the mountains and forests, the big-tailed squirrel squirrels that ran through the tree trunks vigilantly looked around and shook their ears. This squirrel is very beautiful. The reddish-brown hair is bright and smooth, and the tail is fried to the point of fluffy. Small eyes are rolling around, making sure there is no danger, and hurried down the tree. It is very different from ordinary squirrels, with bulging cheeks and a sturdy little cloth bag hanging around its neck. The bag is full and full of stuff. Hey gee, the little claws grabbed the bark, scurried to the ground, and dragged the small cloth bag to carefully search for a new, hidden storage location. The villain Syasya is not here. There are three caves, five caves, six caves. Silly Ziaxia. I really thought it was stupid. Hey, those places where there are little things are hidden, yes, fake. The little squirrel flicked its tail proudly, and today's Ziazu is still convinced by his smart self. It diligently carries food, fights against evil forces, and stores it for the winter. The mountain road is rugged and difficult to walk and it does take a lot of time to go back and forth. Bai Ziaxia has nothing to do, and the cat-cat class starts again. The big flower head shook like a rattle, and retracted the big meat claws in resistance, Ao Xiaxia is very difficult to talk about. It doesn't want to learn. It's much more difficult than hunting skills, what counts and what to legs are common sense. Suddenly I heard a rustling sound of feet stepping on fallen leaves. It is strange to say that after Bai Ziaxia dressed as a cat, her five senses became sharper. 
I don't know if the cat's body is inherently sensitive, or if it has changed after passing through it. Some ordinary people and animals can't hear or see things, it can hear clearly. The footsteps were getting closer, and they seemed to be a long way from them. Byzaxia pricked up her ears and listened. The breeze brought the noisy shreds of speech. Byzaxia ignored the noise and listened carefully, and the cat's face slowly showed seriousness. The claw stretched out unconsciously. This group of bastards, there are who have mothers and no mothers. Sooner or later, Laozi will smash them. Shut up. If you hadn't fought with that lunatic impulsively, Daedong and Erming wouldn't have died. How can you blame me? But with a clearly discernible madness, Tongchen's gang is useless, they can't catch anyone, they actually called foreign aid to spend with us. Wang Peng, don't play with Lao Tzu to shirk responsibility, you know it's hard to mess with the city, and you run out of it. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't expose it at all. It's all right now, everyone is dying, and we are left to spend with you. People and money are empty, the big guy is trapped in front of the village, not behind the ghost of the store place. There is a group of killers behind the butt, what do you say? You're incompetent, but you have a big temper. I don't know how you... Old Liao, who the are you talking about? I can't. Believe it or not, I'll shoot you right now. That's it. The middle-aged voice that was obviously calmer and older than the other two reprimanded, sternly and impatiently, when are you still fighting? Do you all want to live? A bunch of brainless bastards, you don't want to live, I still want to. Live it. As I said, they don't want us to have a better life, so we'll all die together and die. Humph. The most hateful thing is that Captain, Wang Peng spat at the blood foam, his face fierce, he is more seriously injured than us, and the blood is probably left for him. Yes, no one in the main force was injured. The man who killed us brought us to the current situation. No matter what, he should bring the money back and return it to us. The calm baritone continued, this man is really powerful. He was so badly injured that he can still run until now. We are trapped in the mountains now, and none of those soldiers are good. As long as he is found, it is possible to escape without saying anything. The man named Lao Liao had a very high-pitched voice, and his femininity was mixed with three-point mockery, what nonsense are you talking about? Then follow up and find someone to talk about. Hostages or something is unlikely. After so many days, I can't bear the iron and I'm about to die. Better not die, and can be used as a hostage for us. This guy. Byzaxia swallowed hard, and the whole cat jumped up in fright. She slipped for days in the mountains. Although I have never seen the desperados who were driven into the mountains, but thinking about it, someone who can call the base to send a large army to search for Qin Xiao so embarrassed is absolutely fierce and fierce. In human cruelty. She can run with Dewa, but what about Qin Xiao? These guys definitely have guns in their hands, don't mess with them. Miao Dewa, hide with me. There are trees on both sides of the road, and the bushes can completely block Dewa and her. Dewa was ignorant, pacing up with Bai Ziaxia and hiding by the roadside. Ouch. Bai Ziaxia listened to the movement in the distance, judged the possible direction of the three people stared at it with big round eyes, and patrolled left and right. Crazy ideas in their heads, the closer the three of them got, the more nervous by Ziaxia became. I was so nervous that I was so nervous, my back was slightly arched, and my vertical pupils were full of tension, Dewa, you listen to my instructions later, I tell you to rush out, you rush, you know. The Kuilian mountain is too big, and the large army does not know if they can find it. Qin Xiao was seriously injured, she not only wanted to keep him, but also couldn't make him hurt, which would likely kill Qin Xiao. And, big flowers can't take risks. Dewa only came out to save people after listening to her words, Bai Ziaxia couldn't hurt Dewa. There is a bad guy coming, I want to protect him. 
Dawa has never seen Bai Zyaxia so vigilant and nervous before, she also became nervous for a while, and a suppressed snoring sounded in her throat. Although Dawa is young, she has heard from her mother that Tulegs have very powerful things, so don't provoke them easily. Later, Bai Zyaxia told Dawa about the power of the wooden warehouse carefully. It was only then that Dawa knew that the Tulegged beast was holding a wooden warehouse and could hit it from a long distance. If you get hurt, you will die. Bai Zyaxia told it a lot for the safety of the big flower. This made Dawa very vigilant. Bai Zyaxia taught Dawa to divide people into two categories, clean little wastes who didn't hold anything. The big guy holding the iron pipe. With or without weapons, of course. Bai Zyaxia told Dawa not to hurt them unless it was absolutely necessary. Big flowers are very obedient. Yet. Bai Zyaxia was short of breath, she tried to calm herself down. El Yujian Hua didn't know when he came over, those three desperados had no plans for Qin Xiao. Fortunately, I have a good ear and hear the movement in advance. They didn't have any scruples, they spoke carelessly. Bai Zyaxia got a lot of information from their conversations, and probably knew that the three were being chased around, exhausted, and on the verge of running out of ammunition and food. All three of them held the wooden warehouse in their hands, but only the wooden warehouse in the middle-aged man's hand had two bullets left. Highest threat. The remaining two have knives in their hands, and they are all skilled and trained. Three to three. The three adult outlaws who were tired and took the wooden warehouse to the big cat and the kitten were injured. On their side, they can make a lot of money, but they also need to be careful about bullets and not take too much risk. By Zyaxia's small body. She decided to hide and called Dawa sneak attack. The three of Lao Liao followed the blood trail left on Qin Xia Road all the way, Bai Zyaxia cried like a dog in MMP, baby just wanted to find a shovel officer for himself, save the person first, think it's just a small claw of friendship extending to brother Bing. Can't you come later? The three are getting closer, not just Bai Zyaxia. Dawa, the top hunter at the top of the food chain also smelled the strange intruder. The two front paws rubbed lightly, and the nose moved. The wild ferocity of animals surging in the beast's pupils, and the bared upper lip occasionally revealed snow-white and cold teeth. The tiger, the king of beasts, is about to show off his power and work. Bai Zyaxia couldn't figure out the specific orientation of Lao Liao and the three, and could only vaguely hear voices, probably coming from the northeast. These three people are indeed desperados who can escape from the mountain search of the large army, and their ability is very strong. He clearly found the bloodstain left by Qin Xiao, and was worried that it was a trap he deliberately set. Extraordinary vigilance and professionalism are by no means comparable to ordinary people, Bai Zyaxia is very worried that she will fail a sneak attack and will be caught instead. So the big flower, who was about to move, moved back three or four meters, and the big flower was reluctant. Professional hunters will develop their own hunting habits. The most suitable starting distance and direction, and posture. They nest in the bushes, blocking their vision, which is inconvenient. Dawa had to move back, and couldn't help complaining twice. But Xia Xia is much smarter than it, and is the smartest animal in the mountains. No matter how unwilling Dawa is, she still listens to Bai Zyaxia's words, moves her body obediently, and scratches her ears with her big claws. Bai Zyaxia overheard Lao Liao's conversation with all her heart, and probably figured out the origin of the other party. This gang is a small leader of a large smuggling gang. The team has a wide range of business. The team of hundreds of people spans almost the entire Tanglin province. Color TVs, cigarettes, Smuggled cars, all kinds of electrical appliances are rare and precious items, as long as they can be sold for money, they have them all. The most valuable cultural relics are also collected for domestic and foreign transportation. The three of Lao Liao are in charge of this, and occasionally do other things. Some of these cultural relics are stolen, some are collected, and sent abroad in batches, tossing money back and forth. 
The number of things mentioned during the conversation made Bai Ziaxia tremble a little, and couldn't help but be speechless. She realized something, but she didn't pay attention when she got to the mountain. She actually traveled to the 1990s when domestic security was extremely chaotic. The late 1980s and 1990s had a very chaotic time. There are various new policies in China, new things emerge in an endless stream, and new models are introduced. This is an era of reform that draws a new world. When the economy was just taking off, countless people went to the sea to do business, and some went to the city to seek opportunities to work. They brought a lot of life and a lot of chaos. The people who stepped on the bottom line of the law to get rich overnight in 1990 are almost as good as those who go to sea to do business. The big city is crowded with people, and the train station is even more filthy. Smugglers, road robbers, pickpockets, and kidnappers are everywhere. Not only that, but in many places those idle gangsters form gangs, which are springing up like bamboo shoots after a rain. The household registration system is not perfect, coupled with insufficient police force, communication is inconvenient. When the police call is made, the criminals are almost out of sight, and the police car is late to report to you. Dream Many people are willing to take risks, like Lao Liao and the others, to make a fortune. Bai Ziaxia heard her parents talk about the chaos of this era when she was a child. She has a third uncle who has a bad temper and is not stingy. On weekdays, he can always cause trouble with people, and fights are the worst. I don't know when I offended someone, but I was walking on the road one night and asked someone to stab them and throw them into the river. Later, I didn't hear that the murderer was found. People just disappeared. The trembling by Zyaxia's faith became stronger and stronger. I had to find a strong soldier who eats public food as a shovel officer and live peacefully in the base. Listening to the sound of footsteps in the breeze getting heavier and heavier, stepping on the shreds and crackling of the twigs and fallen leaves, it seems to be stepping on the heart of the heart step by step. By Zyaxia's heart was slowly clenched. She swallowed hard and her mouth was dry. The three of Lao Liao were thinking of taking Qin Xiao as a hostage. Qin Xiao's injuries are too serious, and he must not be moved by others, causing three or four injuries, then save a ghost. Send him directly to the west. Bai Ziaxia is not the virgin of Lei Feng, but she can be told to give up Qin Xiao and run away. Bai Ziaxia can't do it either. Second Uncle Bai, the guy lying on the ground, is that the bastard. Lao Liao was the first to turn out, standing seven or eight meters away from Qin Xiao, without immediately stepping forward he frowned, but looked at it carefully and vigilantly. Second Uncle Bai and Wang Peng turned out of the bushes, looked at each other, and looked away in disgust. They also saw the light and joy in each other's eyes, it's him. It's definitely him. Wang Peng is the youngest of the three, a young man in his early twenties, with a shaved head, thick eyebrows, and big eyes, and a high nose bridge. The brow bone is fierce and suffocating, and it is not easy to provoke at first glance. After confirming, he sneered suddenly, took the lead to stride towards the unconscious Qin Xiao, rubbed his hands, You bastard, you are the first year of junior high school, I will be the fifteenth. Look down on us, isn't it? Bad luck is in our hands. Wait. Second uncle Bai hurriedly took two steps and grabbed Wang Peng's arm. Looking around vigilantly, the two were standing more than one meter away from Qin Xiao. Wang Peng shook it twice, but didn't let go of uncle Bai's hand, he became impatient, frowned, and said with an irritable face, let's follow all the way, there are even ghosts on the road. No. Rest assured, there will be no traps. Wang Peng was very impatient, always feeling that Bai Er and Lao Liao were scared by the soldiers. The daring white guy who dared to drag him to smuggle in the past has completely changed his personality. Sure enough, they were a bunch of idiots who were forced to lose their nature, and they were all cowards. Bai Ershu has a Chinese character face, dark skin, and a simple and honest face. Suddenly, he saw that he was no different from the uncle of the farmer in the field. 
he stared at the dim light with only one eye, pressed Wang Peng's arm tightly, and looked around several times, how far did we go just now? Look at this soldier, his face is white. It's almost like a zombie. Losing too much blood, can you run here by yourself? It's not copper skin and iron bones. This. Wang Peng was speechless when asked. Old Liao followed slowly and carefully looked at Qin Xiao's face. The hem of the combat uniform was soaked with blood. Looking at the crimson piece, it was terrifyingly tight. Lao Liao wore a black jacket, with a thin monkey-like figure, struck a match and lit a cigarette, Yin and Yang said strangely, it's really strange, but it's nothing. In order to chase us scum smugglers, they might be risking his life. Everyone is like a fool, I don't know what they are thinking. Just for the hundreds of dollars? It's not enough for me to eat. Okay, by ER. No matter how he got here. This guy has been injured like a dog, and he's almost out of breath. Let's move quickly, and we can use it before anyone else is dead. Hurry up and think of something. If he really asks the troops to find him, can he leave him here alone? I sent him to the hospital. Leave him alone here to fend for himself? That's not bullshit. Second Bai also thought about it, that's right. God's eyes are opened. We have reached a dead end, and we have even sent hostages. The three looked at each other and laughed out loud. Bai Xiaoxia's back is curved, and the snow white hairs on the back are erect. Listening to these three people's sarcasm towards Qin Xiao, and discussing the next plan, they couldn't help but get angry. A group of inhuman dog things, sooner or later, they will make you look good. Dawa was in a state of war in accordance with Bai Xiaoxia's instructions. The tiger's upper body was slightly lowered, and its meat claws were deeply pressed into the mud, maintaining a combat state where it could slam out and bite people's throats anytime, anywhere. Who? Lao Liao stood on the far right of the three, perhaps because it was closer to the woods. Dawa's fierceness revealed a little bit, and he tilted his head instinctively. Grip the dagger and snort coldly. Wang Peng and Bai Lao Er were not slow, almost instinctively, one person took out the dagger and the other held the gun. The leaves rustled as the breeze blew through the trees. In the quiet and depressing atmosphere, the second and third Bai Bai stared at each other, and kept looking around, but did not notice any movement. Old Liao. Second Bai frowned and looked at Lao Liao. Old Liao frowned tightly, without saying a word, and cautiously leaned into the bushes step by step. Second Bai thought for a while, but also kept vigilance, followed behind him, and walked slowly to the dense jungle where Bai Xiaxia and Awa were on the roadside. Bai Xiaoxia's cold sweat is about to break down, so I found it. Great, right? She was an ordinary person in her last life, going to school and looking for a job. I have never dealt with the outlaws who are on the brink of death every day. Who would have thought that the big flower is still hiding in the woods, not looking at anything, just staring at them for a while? This old Liao actually has a sixth sense and can accurately detect the position. God knows, at that moment, Bai Xiaoxia's scalp exploded, she was scared to death. The big flower bared his teeth silently among the trees, and the flesh between his lips trembled slightly with its movements. The tensed limbs seemed to burst out with a powerful jumping force in the next moment, scurrying out of the bushes fiercely. Where can Bai Xiaoxia dare to ask Dawa to face the two wanted criminals, second uncle Bai and Lao Liao, suppress it? bow his head, and drill out of the gap through the bush. Deliberately rolled the snow-white fur in the mud twice, looking like a wild cat. Therefore, what appeared in the sight of Lao Liao and the two was a dirty little wild cat with round eyes. Bai Xiaoxia looked at Lao Liao and Bai Duo who stopped, the cat seemed to be frightened. She stepped back, keeping a distance from the two of them. Wang Peng, who was squatting on the spot, saw the ugly wild cat, and he was angry. These two people are nothing short of startling. It's like this at every turn, but nothing happens. It scared him. Suddenly, the yin and yang lengthened his voice, Yo, 
Lao Liao, now you don't even let a wild cat go. We only have that little bullet left, don't waste it on cats and dogs. We're still waiting for you to show off your power. This is a really ugly thing to say. No matter how good-tempered old Liao was, he became angry. Just as he was about to speak back, Uncle Bai hurriedly gave him a hand, he's young and ignorant, so you care about him too. Old Liao reluctantly suppressed his anger and snorted coldly, forget it, give you a face. However, he looked at Bai Ziaxia with a bad look. Where did the wild cat come from, causing him shame and being laughed at by Wang Peng? Bai Xia Xia? Fuck. You incompetent, furious bastard. Wang Peng laughs at you, hit him. What's the point of angering me with a cat? Bai Ziaxia, how innocent the first am. I felt that Wang Peng's eyes were full of murderous intent, and it was getting more and more dangerous, as if he would press over and wipe his neck at any time. Bai Ziaxia's mouth was dry, and her limbs remained tense, but she was frightened. This rest assured, mad, even a cat. I'm just a cat. Bai Ziaxia's big eyes try to convey the message, I, the cat, the cute, innocent and incompetent cat. Okay, don't waste your time, let's continue to dawdling, maybe the group of stalkers will catch up again. Wang Peng was no longer afraid, and proudly gestured with a dagger on Qin Xiao's neck, it's good to come, just right. The second half of the words were drowned in the faint sound of the car engine. Wang Peng held down the dagger, raised his head with a swoosh, and looked at the north side of the road solemnly. Damn, you crow mouth! Lao Liao ran towards Qin Xiao angrily, take the people away first. With great hostages in hand, the future is bright. They had to figure out how to escape from the Kui Lian mountain, and they couldn't directly collide with the troops. Wang Peng's impatience is impatience, and he has a brain. He took the dagger and bent over to carry Qin Xiao. Big flower. The shrill and infiltrating cat meowing like a baby's cry was accompanied by the roar of a tiger coming down the mountain, and it sounded at the same time. Ah! The big flower moves like thunder, jumping out of the trees like lightning. The sharp teeth immediately bit the right hand of the second white man. Bleeding. A real man who bleeds and sweats without tears. Wild wanted criminal Wang Peng burst into tears, beads of sweat came out of his forehead, and the dagger fell. He didn't care about anything else, how could he remember Qin Xiao? He covered the blood-stained lower body that was torn apart by the cat's claws with both hands, rolling on the ground in pain, and the heart-piercing screams were infiltrating. Which sneaked up on Lao Tzu, ah! Wang Peng was gasping for air when he spoke, and the pain was so painful that he couldn't straighten his back, and when he looked down, he saw the shadow of Bai Ziaxia walking away gracefully. Wang Peng, who died of pain, was shocked, a cat? That wild cat just now? Actually attacked him while he was not paying attention, Wang Peng was full of anger and fear, and it was too late to do anything like a dream. The pain in his lower body pierced his heart, and he cried out in pain when he was completely unsteady. The miserable appearance is ten times more miserable than the white who was bitten by the big flower and thrown seven or eight meters away. The three most wanted criminals were caught off guard by each other, and they were even attacked by tigers. There is a wild cat. Not far away, Captain Song jumped from the off-road vehicle to save people, fuck. The eyeballs were all staring out of the sockets, and the jaw dropped in shock. All the males were cold under the crotch, and the faces of the two little warriors were crowded into a ball, showing a miserable expression of immersed teeth and flesh. Everyone couldn't help but look at Bai Ziaxia, fortunately they came with the head. Learn more, no more. The cat who can take down the three-way. Who taught it? A soldier involuntarily covered the same position with his hand. At this time, I can't care about other things. Saving people is the most important thing. Qin team. Little Qin. Song Bei and the others wanted to rush over as soon as possible, where Dewa used his flesh claws to hold down the miserable old Liao whose chest had collapsed. 
Maintaining the attitude of the king of hunting, he seemed to hear the movement and slowly turned his big furry head. There are still bloodstains on the lower lip of the fierce tiger, next to the blood spattered and the wounded rolling on the ground. The scalps of the soldiers who came over were numb, they were really big and majestic, and the cruel and fierce attitude at this moment was simply shocking. If it wasn't for El Eugene who was repeated reminders before he came, the tiger carried Captain Chin on his back, and it was the life-saving benefactor of Chin. They're about to shoot. Around now, he is still subconsciously afraid to raise his gun. But they just held it up. Bai Ziaxia and Dawa protected Captain Chin and cleaned up Lao Liao. Everyone was watching. They were all very surprised, El Eugene Hua said that the tiger was watched, and there was a snow-white Persian cat. Everyone believed it, but no one would have thought that the three Lao Liao would appear, and they were solved by them. No one has ever seen such an intelligent and humane animal. Aren't people all the same in the eyes of animals? It is a rare thing that they would protect Captain Chin. Even so, they dare not be careless. The unconscious Captain Chin was lying next to the tiger, less than a meter away. The whole process witnessed how Dawa overthrew the wanted criminal, all of them raised their hearts to the throat, for fear that the tiger would be fierce and hurt Captain Chin. The tiger saved Captain Chin just now, but no one knew if it was a coincidence. If the tiger becomes fierce, Captain Chin will be finished. They must ensure the safety of Captain Chin, and they must kill the tiger with a single shot before it starts. Only Wang Peng's screams and mourning and the sound of his tossing back and forth were left in the field. Don't shoot, don't shoot. El Eugene Hua hurriedly rushed to the comrades who raised their guns, blocking their sight. He was so nervous that he couldn't stop swallowing, turned his back to Captain Song and others, and walked towards the fierce tiger with difficulty and determination, I, it's me. I just came here, we have no ill intentions, we just want to save people, do you remember me? El Eugene Hua tried his best to convey goodwill with his eyes and walked forward step by step. Little comrade! Song Bei shouted to El Eugene Hua, but El Eugene Hua didn't seem to hear him, still blocked the guns of the people behind, and approached Captain Chin with a cold sweat. I have no ill intentions. This tiger saved Captain Chin and they could not harm it in turn. The big flower eyes were full of ferocious wildness, and the claws held down the old Liao who was still struggling. Slapped down, Lao Liao rolled his eyes and passed out. Dawa's throat made a menacing low grunt, and the short but vicious battle just aroused the animal and wildness in its bones. After the tiger hunts, it is most taboo for outsiders to approach its prey. Whoever dares to come and grab food is the enemy and will be killed. Dawa turned slightly, and her powerful forelimbs seemed to be charged down, close to the ground. The usual leisurely wagging tail is no longer wagging, but is still, sliding down smoothly. However, everyone can feel the hostility and warning emanating from the tiger at this moment. Song Bei and others mentioned that El Eugene Hua was unarmed and so close to the tiger. Dawa can easily bite his throat with a single jump. Big flower. The grey-white Bai Xiaxia Pu spit out the mud in her mouth. It was the first time she had attacked a human being. She was worried that her strength was too small, and she didn't expect it. One blow was fatal, and the opponent fell into a box. That's it. Bai Xiaxia thought that she would show her power to everyone. I was embarrassed to death. Xia San Lu, ah ah ah. She is a noble, elegant, harmless, and lovely pet Persian cat, how can she be so fierce? Bai Ziaxia grieved for her lost cat for three seconds. As soon as he regained his senses, he sensed the confrontational smell of gunpowder in the air. It jumped over the unconscious Qin Xiao, and landed gently between Dawa and El Yujian Hua. Bai Ziaxia cried again. The cat's meow was very soft, and it was three times more urgent and worried than usual. Bai Ziaxia cried out several times anxiously, and Dawa's instinctively controlled brain slowly returned. A small, slender, dirty paw slapped the fat tiger's big face with a bahaha. 
When Bai Ziaxia jumped out and got close to the big flower, Song Bei and others were stunned. This cat is so daring, when the tiger guards the food, it jumps out. The next thing was even more amazing. The Persian cat meowed twice, and the tiger was slapped in the face and didn't get angry and left. Being as good as a tiger. Refreshes everyone's knowledge and views. Song Bei murmured, what kind of western landscape is this? The big cat and the kitten fought side by side, and now they can command the tiger. Whose cat has become sperm, is this really a tiger and a cat? This cat is too smart. It's a cat, it's really a cat master. I'm a good boy, and the cow is very fat. Guo Chaoming is amazed, who has ever seen a house cat mixed with a tiger? Not only do they mix together, but the domestic cat also seems to be the boss of the cat, and also saves and protects people. It seems to be able to distinguish between good and bad, which is amazing. It's just, odd. Guo Chaoming remembered that when they just got off the bus, he saw Bai Ziaxia's steady and precise claws. That's really, my friends and I were stunned. A cat specializing in the lower three, well, I don't know what to say. Guo Kaoming's heart was very complicated. He looked at the unconscious Qin team and suddenly felt that Qin Xiao couldn't die if anyone died. Nima. Where did this adult cat come from, for Qin Xiao's fierce tiger to go down the mountain? Dawa pokes in a corner of grievance, and the big fat tiger's face is full of sadness, I fought with them after listening to you, and you still beat me. Bai Ziaxia retracted her claws and was satisfied to see that the claws were clean, I'll hit you. The beautiful lines of the big flowers leave a dusty dirt mark, which is very funny. It flicked its tail unhappily and brushed past Liu Jianhua, who had walked up to him. I don't even think about it, I twisted my hairy buttocks like a vent, and my flew people out. Song Bei's jaw dropped. This, this also brings anger? Whose tiger is like this? The man behind almost pulled the trigger. In fact, he didn't even have a scratch, he just gave him a bluff. Quick! El Eugenhua ate a mouthful of dirt, got up and urged vaguely, the tiger has left, the doctor hastened to see Captain Chin. Captain Chin has lost too much blood, so he must treat the wound quickly. Zhang Ping led the two little doctors who were fighting, and wanted to leave. Thinking of Dawa again, my feet stayed in place. Looking up, the colorful tiger slowly stepped back. This is, give them a place? Zhang Ping was surprised. At this time, I didn't have time to think about what was there or not, so I hurried to Qin Xiaosheng's side, and sent a series of orders to treat Qin Xiao's wounds. The soldiers who followed rushed over at the fastest speed to control Lao Liao and the others. But, these three guys are really miserable. Old Liao was in a coma, a small piece of his chest collapsed, and he did not know how many bones were broken. Bai's second right hand was fractured, and blood kept coming out. Although he was awake, his eyes were blank and he didn't cry in pain. Like being struck dumb. Song Bei think about it, if he was caught by a pet Persian cat led by a tiger crit damage, he would be crazy. The Persian cat is really unusual, it really can tell the difference between good and bad. It was quite evil, Song Bei guessed, Qin Xiao might have rescued the cat. So, the cat is here to repay? The two Lao Liao were seriously injured, but they were not as miserable as Wang Peng. When the two warriors lifted Wang Peng up, they could feel that Wang Peng's limbs were weak and his hands and feet were shaking. The man was half awake drenched in cold sweat, soaking his clothes. The blood couldn't stop coming out of the torn crotch. When he was carried into the car, Song Bei couldn't help but glance at him. This, this is the worst smuggler in history, scratched by a Persian cat, cough. Song Bei couldn't hold back, and while waiting for the first aid equipment to arrive, he said to Bai Ziaxia, who was squatting next to Zhang Ping's first aid, thank you. Don't scratch your crotch next time, it's very penetrating. Bai Ziaxia raised her head unexpectedly and thanked the cat. This uncle is very interesting. 
Song Bei didn't move after saying that, and didn't care if Bai Ziaxia understood. Everyone waited quietly for Zhang Ping to save people. It wasn't until Zhang Ping took out the bullet for Qin Xiao and stopped the bleeding that Song Bei's tense face relaxed. Everyone's tight strings were loosened, and Zhang Ping also said that he would wait for the next car to deliver it. When the time comes, you can go directly to the hospital, and more specifically, you need to go to the hospital for examination. There will be no danger to his life for the time being, as long as Qin Xiao can save his life. The people who desperately saved were not in vain, and Bai Ziaxia was also happy. As soon as I relaxed, I felt myself rolling all over with mud, which was uncomfortable. While she was bored, she was quite surprised to hear Song Bei speak to her again. He looked up at Song Bei with his little head held high. Song Bei was a slightly fat uncle in military uniform with a round face and kindness. At this moment, she looked at her with a smile, and took the initiative to talk, Bai Ziaxia turned him away and pretended not to hear. Captain, do you really think it's a cat? Even talking to it, it's strange if you can understand. Zhang Ping stopped Qin Xiao from bleeding, and everyone was relieved. At this moment, I waited for the car behind to come, relax, Guo Chaoming squatted on the right side of Bai Ziaxia like a puppy. Thank you for saving Qin Xiao, thank you. Bai Ziaxiamu, who was sandwiched into a pie, has a furry cat face, want to bury a language trap for me? Dream. You are the cat master and your whole family is the cat master. The dirty Persian cat jumped up and jumped into Guo Kaoming's arms, and the dirt all rubbed against his clothes. The grey-white Persian cat's tail was fried like a dandelion that was blown away, and the Persian cat that was stained with mud and dust was soft and fufu, and coquettishly hugged Guo Chaoming. The little head is like a normal kitten rubbing against its owner, rubbing all the dirty things on the front of Guo Kaoming's combat uniform. Guo Chaoming. He has been a soldier for eight years, let alone mud, he has also weighed into the dirt and tiring land. Sewers, rivers, all kinds of messy places, if you really want to do a task, no one cares about the dirty things. He has no cleanliness. However, the clean combat uniform was covered with grey, Guo Chaoming lowered his head and silently stared at the small black and grey on his chest. It's just dazzling. The corners of his eyes twitched, and the grey-white Persian cat rubbed hard, finally satisfied. I was very satisfied with the grey, and nodded as if I was appreciating the work. Only raised his head and looked at him, his beautiful pupils were full of pride towards Guo Chaoming. You did it on purpose. Guo Chaoming saw the revenge from the dirty little face of the Persian cat very novelly. Bai Ziaxia tilted her head and meowed softly, cursing in person, Yes, I'm just revenge on you. To ridicule and speak ill of people. The other party is still stupid and doesn't understand and hugs you obediently. Bai Ziaxia has this feeling in her head. It's so cool. I suddenly found the cool point of being a cat. Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow the meow sound was cadence, it should be high pitched but also Loki. Bai Xia, Xia is passionate. Head of the melon-eating crowd song found Huadian, this cat's arrogant and meowing gesture, tugging. Xiao Guo, is this cat scolding you? Song Bei held a cigarette and gently rubbed Bai Ziaxia's head. Bai Xia, Xia? Am I being so obvious? The kitten's eyes are round, and the cat's face is guilty. Luckily the furry blocked her expression. He grabbed Bai Ziaxia's right front paw, I know you can understand, you liar cat. Bai Xia's summer dress can't hear or understand, and she has round innocent and cute cat eyes, meowing innocently. What did you say? I'm just a cat, how can a cat have any bad thoughts and curse people, a cat can't understand, and a cat is the best. Really, don't frame the dumb cat. Bai Ziaxia's lively acting expression is so easy to understand. Guo Chaoming met a cat who would pretend to be stupid, how did I offend you? Guo Chaoming has raised cats several times at home, with black, white and yellow three flowers, white body with black feet. 
rich experience in raising cats. The cats that Bai Ziaxia and Guo Chaoming have raised and seen are different. Just looking at it, I feel that this cat has aura and has a different strength. Smart. Cats are actually animals that no one can fathom. The cat's eyes seem to be filled with the strangeness of the cat's psychic. Most people look at the cat's color and appearance, but it is not cute or beautiful. Guo Chaoming has a unique habit. Bai Ziaxia's eyes are different. The beautiful heterochromatic pupils are clean and thorough. Guo Chaoming stared at him carefully, and he could not help but have the illusion that the cat could read you and the two sides could communicate. Now, Guo Chaoming is sure. That was not an illusion, he was clearly revenged by the cat, despised in person and scolded by the cat. Say, what are you scolding me for? Bai Ziaxia was lifted up by Guo Chaoming's hungry armpits. Her hind limbs swayed weakly, but she didn't break free from the pair of seemingly light, in reality strong hands. Miao Bai Ziaxia glanced at Guo Chaoming, who was dumbfounded. You idiot, what am I scolding you, can you understand? The pink meat pad Pap Pa Pa patted his chin impatiently, rude guy, let me down quickly, and don't hold me without my consent. Bai Ziaxia meows in dissatisfaction. Guo Chaoming, who was despised again. The car is here. The first aid team who arrived later dragged the stretcher and hurried Qin Xiaoxian into the car. Zhang Ping led the people and took Qin Xiao to the Tongcheng Military Region Hospital first. Qilian Mountain is more than three hours drive from Tongcheng Military Region Hospital. Song Bei ordered others to return to the base first and recall others who were searching and rescued in the mountain. Now that the wanted criminal has been caught, Qin Xiao has also been sent to the hospital safely, and there are still a lot of things to deal with at the base. Song Bei was worried about Qin Xiao's injury, so he issued a few orders and sent others to go back first, and he had to go to the hospital. Bai Ziaxia wanted to follow Qin Xiaoka. She thought about it, if she saved people because Qin Xiao was a good person. She's so smart and creepy, she has to take it one step at a time. If you follow Qin Xiao and repay your kindness for Qin Xiao, although it is also very fantasy, is there any basis for it? And she also remembered that Qin Xiao had indeed fed herself. It's not her, it's a real Persian cat. Her idea is very good, but Fate's neck was strangled by Guo Chaoming, unable to move. She was so angry that she waved her claws at Guo Chaoming frantically, and her sharp nails were threatening. Bastard. Don't pull my fur, what should I do if I'm bald? Actually, Guo Chaoming is measured and the weight is very suitable. It won't hurt Bai Ziaxia's neck, and she can hold Bai Ziaxia firmly in the palm of her hand. But Bai Ziaxia is not happy. Although she has a cat body, she has a strong and independent heart. I don't want to call Guo Chaoming a cat and play around like a cat, I'm quite unhappy. Bai Xiaoxia cat's face wrinkled into a ball, and her big fluffy tail resisted and kept hitting Guo Chaoming's wrist. A clear rejection. Guo Chaoming grabbed twice, unable to hold back Bai Ziaxia, who was struggling frantically. He could only sigh, half squatted down, and put Bai Ziaxia on the ground again, I know you're smart, listen to me, the Qin team is in an emergency, everyone is busy, you can't follow the car. A dirty Persian cat follows the ambulance to the hospital. Zhang Ping and the others must be busy taking care of first aid, how can they care about a cat? Others will treat Bai Ziaxia as a rogue cat who ran into the hospital, and there is no telling what happened. You follow me and Song Tuan, anyway, you won't be driven out. Guo Chaoming was serious, and he explained to Bai Ziaxia patiently. He had realized that Bai Ziaxia was different. Bai Ziaxia scratched his little ears with his paws. It was a little embarrassing for a while. It's not that she is hypocritical, but she is used to it, when a cat is held in the air without warning. The whole body was swaying, and he could only step on Guo Kaoming's palm weakly to relay. Bai Ziaxia feels uncomfortable and not used to the feeling that she can't reach the sky or the ground and can only rely on others. 
Although she has been dressed as a Persian cat for more than half a year, the problem is that Byzaxia is a wild child no one wants. I have a cat wandering around in the green lotus mountain. On weekdays, you come and go with all kinds of wild animals, hide and seek, make friends, occasionally bully and bully the little ones, and even the big ones will bully and attack. But no one gets along with her. Byzaxia, who is squatting, is lost. When you spend time with animals on weekdays, you will not have an inhuman sense of loss and loss. Now appearing in front of people, she is a cat, small, beautiful, will be liked by people, will be disposed of at will, raise her hand and think of Rua as a cute little cat. Like this moment, Bai Ziaxia looked at brother Bai Jingbing who was talking to him seriously. She knew very well in her heart that Guo Chaoming was willing to talk to a cat patiently now, not because he thought she was an independent individual like him. I just think I'm new and it's fun and interesting to talk to her. Bai Ziaxia hesitated for a while, she couldn't bear the inconvenience and loneliness of living in the mountains. I want to eat snacks, I want to eat braised pork and roast duck and ham. I dream of tears. Autumn is here, and Bai Ziaxia is forced to make a choice. She wants to live, and people are gregarious animals. No one can stand it if they don't get along with people for a long time. She had made up her mind to leave Quilian Mountain and find a shovel officer to take care of herself. Good idea, but, she's a human, not a cat. Flat on the ground, I'm sorry Bai Ziaxia told herself, you are a cat now, a cat. Take your time, don't be in a hurry, don't be in a hurry. She is also grateful for Guo Kaoming's reminder, in a hurry, she forgot that she was a cat, and wanted to go with the team to the hospital to see the injured Qin Xiao, wouldn't it be funny? It will definitely be ignored and kicked out. Bai Ziaxia's little fluffy head lowered, and her speech fell into Guo Kaoming's ear, and it was a low and weak meow. Are you feeling guilty? Guo Chaoming scratched his chin, he was handsome and clean like a college student, the kind of person with no temper. In fact, he has a very quick temper. At this moment, I still have patience with the cat, want to tease the cat that loves to fry. Guo Chaoming was a soldier at the age of 16, his five senses are keen, and his ability to observe words and expressions is not impossible. The eyes curled up with a smile, and he said gently, Next time I will ask first, if you agree, I will hug you again, will it work? Guo Chaoming thought about it seriously and reviewed his actions just now, I understand it's too hard. I don't want him to hug him. The stray cats in the city are instinctively vigilant and afraid of strangers, not to mention Bai Xiaoxiaoke, who walks in the green lotus mountain all the year round will only be more vigilant than stray cats. When a qualified soldier arrives at a new place, the most important thing to do is to understand the surrounding environment and grasp the information as soon as possible. The troops that Guo Chaoming and Qin Xiao belonged to were urgently transferred to the Tongcheng garrison base more than a year ago. The location of the city is special, just on the railway and highway transportation hub, connecting the north and the south. Beginning a few years ago, large crowds of people poured into Tongcheng frantically, and with the coming and going of merchants from the north and the south, the entire Tongcheng was like a boiling oil pan. Tongcheng police station is overloaded every day, all of them are busy dogs, almost all of them are madly running in Tongcheng without touching the ground. However, Tongcheng has been expanding wildly since a few years ago, its scale has become larger and larger and its population has doubled explosively. In the city, the three religions and nine classes, dragons and snakes are mixed, large and small criminal gangs are hidden, the law and order are chaotic, and the situation is getting more and more serious. A year and a half ago, three vicious murders occurred in Tongcheng. Tongcheng police were really helpless and couldn't hold back, so they kept up and asked for help. Therefore, an urgently dispatched force was stationed in Tongcheng to share part of the security pressure. This situation did not only happen in Tongcheng. Guo Chaoming knew from the head of Song that not only them, but also troops in other places were urgently mobilized. 
In the past few years, it has been too messy. They came to Tongcheng, carrying the public security and safety of the entire Tongcheng on their shoulders. Guo Chaoming and the others did not dare to relax, and often led people to the mountains for training, always ready to fight. After practicing many times, I naturally understood the situation in Kuilian Mountain. Kuilian Mountain is steep and lush, and there are many kinds of extremely dangerous wild beasts and birds. They didn't mean to target wild animals, they simply pulled up a protective net and no fly zone. After all, the base is not in the deep mountains, and the people who go into the mountains for training are also walking around the outer edges of the mountains. But outside the safety net, Guo Chaoming is very aware of the dangers of Quilian Mountain. The kitten like Bai Ziaxia can survive in Quilian Mountain, which shows her vigilance and intelligence. Therefore, Bai Ziaxia found that someone was looking at her with more and more strange eyes, and finally, she faintly showed admiration. The cat's back was chilled by the strange eyes. Why? Bai Ziaxia? Meow meow? The kitten tilted her head and her eyes were cold, look at what, and then scratch your face. If you look again, I will not declare you. What she rare is Qin Xiao. The cat falsely raised its paws, and the sharp nail shrank. Guo Chaoming took Bai Ziaxia's reaction to being vigilant against frying hair as her refusal. Zheng Ziyu's face welled up with regret, and tears flowed in her heart, Persian cats are rare, he touched them just now, and they felt good. Forget it. I have a chance to hug again later. Guo Chaoming really likes cats, and it is a breed that he has never raised. Persian cats are inherently beautiful, plus by Ziaxia's distinctive character. The more Guo Chaoming looks, the more he likes it. He thinks this cat is smart and beautiful, and it can save people. If he can keep it. His eyes were bright, like stars falling with anticipation, Mimi, I'll take care of you. He likes the cat, I'll buy you ham to eat, make you a cat litter, and eat the best every day. Bai Ziaxia tilted her head, and Guo Kaoming's heart was melted by the dazed and simple cry. The 1.8 meter big man's eyes were soft and watery, but he didn't know what Bai Ziaxia said, I won't raise it for you. You can't tell the difference between male and female, and you can't tell my naturally beautiful bastard. Follow me and eat delicious and spicy ham every day. Guo Chaoming was tempted by food and raised a big smile. Bai Ziaxia didn't believe a single punctuation mark, this unconscionable scumbag who cheated and deceived cats and cats, she was very angry you liar who eats a big pot of food in the cafeteria. A man's mouth is a liar ghost. Don't lie to people, you can lie to cats. She meows in anger and earnestness like an old schoolboy, cute and soft. However, Guo Chaoming thought that he had succeeded in flicking, and excitedly stretched out the claws of the prepared shovel officer, hey. The oversized and cute meat claws are very heavy, and they are heavily photographed in Guo Kaoming's hand that stretches towards Bai Ziaxia. A gorgeous and splendid tiger face about the size of Bai Ziaxia cat's body slammed in front of him. Zoom in several times, and it is terrifying. Beast pupil stared at him quietly, as if to say, I agree, let's go. Guo Kaoming's lips were trembling, but he didn't say anything. Dawa was so frightened that his heart shrank, his face turned pale and he thumped his legs and sat on the ground. There was a lot of movement here, and Song Tuan, who gave orders to his soldiers, couldn't help but turn his face away. On the side of the road, Dawa semi-compulsively cheated and held hands with the scumbag cat. He also squatted in a row with Bai Ziaxia's big cat and kitten, Dawa was tremblingly grasped by Guo Kaoming's paws and did not move. The huge plush tiger face is funny and vivid, showing the look of contempt and contempt. The tiger's face was brightly written, You are really useless. Is this soft? How dare you be so small, such a coward. The tiger claws are still on Guo Kaoming's right hand, Guo Chaoming, wants to cry, cry. Look at this oversized cat who took the initiative to bite the hook and deliver it to the door, and look at a certain leisurely eat melon Ziaxia. 
Bai Xiaxia showed Guo Kaoming's signature cat-faced smile, Guo Chaoming bit the bullet and negotiated with Dewa, and kept swallowing with a dry face, just, that's it. Actually, I'm a vegetarian. We are not suitable. The next one is better, let's not force it. Claw, dryly and cautiously, refuses. As he spoke, he kept peeking at Dewa's colorful face in fear for fear that the big cat would become angry after being rejected and insisted on going with him. Guo Chaoming, my charm is nowhere to be placed. Why don't you use it in the wrong place? Song Bei laughed so hard that he couldn't control his facial expression and almost laughed out loud. Bai Xiaxia can see the most clearly from the close distance, laughing with white whiskers and whiskers shaking up and down, I tell you not to be ashamed to lie to cats and cats, this world newspaper, come quickly. Dewa didn't understand this two-legged beast, and it didn't understand human words, just rolled her eyes, and allowed Guo Chaoming to be gentle and careful like a bomb, and send it back to her claw's claw. Ow dawdling, Dewa withdrew her claws in advance. Guo Chaoming breathed a sigh of relief. He wants to raise cats, but he doesn't want to devote himself to being Guo Chaoming brand cat food bibimbap. Dewa is also not interested in stupid two-legged beasts, ow the big eyes are pitiful, looking at Bai Xiaxia with water mist. The big cat is shameless and cute, Bai Xiaxia's heart softens, meow meow I'm not leaving, but I'm going to see the rescued person. Ow Dewa's paws snapped, and the mud splashed, and the dust flew and choked Guo Chaoming repeatedly. Dewa is very afraid that she will be abandoned again and will be ruthlessly driven out of the nest by the tiger mother. It is a permanent wound in Dewa's heart, and she is very anxious, then I will go with you. Of course it won't work, the size of the nine big flowers, not to mention the off-road vehicle can't sit. Even if you can sit down, the manating tiger will follow you to the hospital. Thinking about that scene makes me sour. Dewa's eyes are too pitiful where is Shalula's cruelty and ruthlessness of large carnivorous beasts and king of beasts? The wet Ming Meng's big eyes contained a little bit of caution and fear. Tell Bai Xiaxia to remember the scene when she just met the big flower. Weeping. At that time, she thought that the tiger had become a sperm, or that she had come from transmigration like herself, and her emotions were unbelievably rich. Later, she realized that this is a mother tiger. Leaving mom, depressed. Now I want to leave Qualian Mountain with my car, the big flower is still young, and the IQ of four or five years old is the same as that of an ignorant child. I must be worried that I will never come back, and I don't want it like a tiger mother. Whoops, my big flower. Bai Xiaxia was distressed. The paws and four limbs pressed against the neck of the big flower, and the kitten stood upright like a man. You can gently stroke the big flower head with your small claws. No, no. Bai Xiaxia swears that she will never abandon Dewa. Dewa still looked scared and worried, and stared at Bai Xiaxia with big eyes, how long will Xiaxia be gone? Leave me a tiger. The melancholy and melancholy big flower maintains the posture of looking up at the sky at 45 degrees, Kyung Yao possessed, pity me, a tiger walking alone and lonely in the dense forest. Bai Xiaxia's mouth twitched. She just met Dewa, this tiger is not very smart. For months, she told it stories, sang and joked. Tell it the common sense of human society, how to better survive in the mountains and forests, avoid wire meshes and large troops. Dewa seems to have a good posture, getting smarter and smarter. Learning and applying, very good. Bai Xiaxia said with a cat face, what do you want? First of all, you can't go down the mountain with me. Dewa nodded, embarrassed, and embarrassed to cover the tiger's face with her meat claws. It's a pity that the big cat's face is too big, so it can only block a small part of it, I haven't loosened my bones for a long time. I just fought to save the two-legged beast. I was tired, hungry, sleepy, and uncomfortable. Bai Xiaxia understood in seconds, I will transfer the membership service of Monkey's family to you once. I'd better go down the mountain with Xia Xia. 
Hua Hua's tongue licked Bai Xia Xia's coat, and wet licking left a cereal watermark. Bai Xia, gritted her teeth, twice. Xia Xia, I'm worried about your safety. Tolegged beasts are annoying. We haven't been down the mountain. Xia Xia has a cat going down the mountain. I'm too worried. Dawa looked like a victim who was questioned, and was very sad, am I such a tiger with no bottom line? Three times, no more. Bai Xia glanced at a tiger whose IQ suddenly went up to eight or nine years old in order to kill a chicken. Perhaps, this is the power of the horse to kill the chicken. The king of beasts can't bear the comfort. Dawa hummed, a voice came out of her throat, and she seemed to want to speak a little reluctantly. Bai Xia's round cat pupils squinted halfway, her eyelids drooped down, and she withdrew her right front paw that stroked the tiger's big head, I don't have to follow. I and Dawa depend on each other for life, you are so worried, you can't bear me, I can't call you no matter what. The lying big flower smelled the smell of conspiracy, stood up on all fours, and trembled for several seconds. I hurriedly shook the dust off my body, I didn't listen if I didn't listen. He turned around in a majestic manner, and jumped like lightning to the dense forest by the roadside, Zyaxia, come back early. We're all waiting for you. Bai Xia Xia. This cat, a big tiger, you meow, I purr, one after another like normal people talking and talking. Continued to speak for a minute. This scene is very rare. Small heart thumping, Guo Chaoming, who almost succeeded in raising a cat, has returned to normal and his eyes are sending the tiger away, Guo Kaoming's eyes move slightly. Song Bei ordered good people to do things. The buggies are left for them, and the guys run back to base, the driver sat back in the driver's seat at this moment, the rumble of the engine running over his ears. Bai Xiaxia was startled and heard the footsteps of Guo Chaoming walking away, little me. Get in the car. Bai Xiaomi is not very willing to talk to you. She reluctantly jumped into the back seat of the car, only four people were left in the car. Even Lao Liao and the other three were escorted to the hospital. These three guys were seriously injured. In the spirit of humanitarianism, they had to be sent to the hospital for treatment. Bai Xiaxia looked around, thought about it, and jumped gently to the position on Song Bei's right. Listening to Song Bei's serious discussion with Guo Chaoming about the smuggling crimes of Lao Liao and others, Bai Xiaxia's head was a little dizzy. She yawned, lay down in a daze, rolled herself into a circle, and fell asleep. The soft and fluffy belly slept soundly. Bai Xiaxia is also tired these days. First, he followed the search and rescue team around, but after the failure, Diana Diana ran to the gate of the base to hook up with people. Going back and forth, and bumping into the old Liao in the middle, the tense spirit has only loosened up now. The spirit was highly tense for two or three days, and when she relaxed, the kitten fell into a deep sleep. Now that they have been caught, there is finally an explanation. Chin team is not impulsive, he would rather drag his wounds to deal with Lao Liao and a few others but also force them into the mountains, he must have found out something we didn't find. Guo Chaoming thought for a while, nodded his head, and echoed the views of Head Song. Qin Xiao was shot in the abdomen, lost too much blood, and suffered multiple fractures throughout his body. Qin Xiao led the team and the old Liao and the others were injured when they were dealing with the outside of the Kuilian mountain. The old Liao and the few desperados who had been dealing with the authorities for many years were all very aware of anti-investigation and were very powerful. Qin Xiao tried his best to drive them into the mountains, and he definitely discovered the importance of Lao Liao and the three. It can be used as a breakthrough in solving cases. Qin team is too desperate. Guo Chaoming also had to admire Qin Xiao's fierce and fierce energy. Seriously. If Qin Xiao did not risk his life to deal with Lao Liao, these guys would definitely not be arrested. Then all their hard work for more than a month will be wasted. Song Bei nodded slightly. The off-road vehicle was galloping and bumping constantly, Song Bei tilted his head to see Bai Xiaxia curled up and fell asleep, 
and couldn't help laughing, this little guy is the big hero. It wouldn't have happened without it and the tiger. Guo Chaoming looked at Bai Ziaxia's undulating soft belly, and the soft cat hair was easy to touch. Little me. Cat. Guo Chaoming shouted tentatively twice, Bai Ziaxia slept soundly, and did not mean to wake up. The cat subconsciously folded her little tail and hugged it. Song Bei couldn't see it, are you a thief? Cough, cough. Guo Chaoming, who later realized that he was too crazy, this little guy is too smart, don't touch it, don't hug it, I can't let me sleep with it touch it. Be careful to touch it awake, get up and scratch you. Song Bei's words just fell, and the sleeping kitten seemed to sense something on her head and shook her head. Guo Chaoming quickly retracted his claws. Street back to his original position for almost a second, sitting upright. The swiftness of the action is astounding. Song Bei? L. U. G. N. Hua. However, Bai Ziaxia just raised her head. Without opening her eyes, you leisurely stretched, rolled over, curled up into a small ball, and fell back asleep. This time, I also protected the exposed belly inside so that no one could see it. Guo Chaoming breathed a sigh of relief and smacking his lips regretfully. Song Bei. Seeing his subordinates as if they were facing a great enemy, he was amused and angry, look at you, isn't it a cat? I can't beat you again. Captain, you don't understand this. Guo Chaoming plausibly said, with a very understanding attitude of someone who has come over, let's keep cats, and we also have to look at our eyes. Mimi is not right. I fell in love at first sight, but it can grow in love with me for a long time. As long as it has a good impression of me and everyone has the same personality, maybe they are willing to take me home and raise it. I can't expose it, but try to show my excellent gentleness and perfection. Song Bei? L. U. G. N. Hua. Deputy Guo knows a lot. He is indeed his second admirer. Some people cheered, Guo Chaoming was a talkative person, so he began to talk about his experience of raising cats how to hook up stray cats, how to keep cats shiny, and he vowed to tell Liu Jianhua to touch him when he coaxes Xiaomi home. Liu Jianhua can look forward to it. He ran back and forth twice without touching it. No matter the other cats, Xiaomi is different. He felt that this cat was psychic, and he might have good luck by touching it. Song Bei. If you can put a little bit of your experience and thoughts into finding a wife, you don't need to delay until now. You're still a bachelor, which makes me worry about you all day. Even a cat can lie, so why can't you lie to a daughter-in-law to go home? Song Bei hated that iron could not become steel, this group of unsatisfactory waste. Not even a wife. What can I expect from you? Guo Chaoming. Bai Ziaxia fell asleep in a daze, and a vague distant voice appeared in a trance beside her ear. Qin Xiao successfully escaped danger, congratulations to Mao Mao, he achieved the achievement of saving people and got 50 achievement points. The healing cat cat system is about to start, and the countdown is 8 hours. Tick tock. The second hand passed the dial, Bai Ziaxia opened her eyes in a daze. She was dizzy and couldn't sleep well. When I opened my eyes, I saw a bright red 8 hour countdown. Meow. What the hell, Bai Ziaxia thought she didn't wake up, and shook her head quickly. Look again, the countdown has passed 20 seconds. It's still poking there, the position has not changed, and the size of the numbers has not changed. Not a hallucination. Perhaps it was because I had read too much of the messy system text before the time travel, and when I really faced the countdown of the system, Bai Ziaxia's heart was like still water without any waves. Cure cats? Speak her? Bai Ziaxia thought back carefully, and finally remembered the words of the system opening when she fell asleep. She saved Qin Xiao and achieved the achievement of saving people, so she opened the system. Looking at the system countdown for the past three minutes, Bai Ziaxia stretched out her paws and poked. The claws of the pink pads passed through the illusory number, Bai Ziaxia nodded, 
just as she thought. Unreal stuff. It is still early before the opening time, Bai Zyaxia withdraws her mind and no longer pays attention to it. She got up and found herself still lying on the SUV. The car was empty, and Song Bei and others were gone. Bai Zyaxia peeped out the car window and looked out. On both sides of the road were large and small light meal shops. The shops in the 1990s were not decorated very much, and even many shops casually used wooden boards to write shop names, and then poked at the door casually. You just need to know what it's doing, many shops don't even have a brand. Occasionally a few houses stand out with bright plagues. Bai Xiaoxia cat sticks its head out of the car window, dozens of meters away, the red cross on the tall building is particularly conspicuous. Tongcheng 2nd Military Region Hospital, the entrance to the gate was bustling with people passing by. Going down, she, going down. Guru Bai Zyaxia touched her flat stomach, she didn't know when she slept. But looking at the sun slanting west and the sun going down, it should be time for dinner. Hungry. Bai Zyaxia hesitantly walked to the door, wondering if she should get off. My head fell down the mountain, I couldn't tell the difference between east, west, north, and south, and I was very unfamiliar with this place. The stray cat who has no money gets out of the car, and there will be no food. Bai Zyaxia sniffed the fragrance of the food floating in the air, and tears came down with saliva, meow crash. The door was pulled open with the dazzling sunlight, Bai Zyaxia narrowed her eyes slightly. Guo Chaoming, who was carrying a dinner box in his hand, looked at the seat subconsciously, but found no cat. He was nervous and hurriedly looked for Bai Zyaxia. I'm worried that the cat will run away. When she lowered her head, she saw Bai Zyaxia squatting pitifully, with her right front paw still pressed against her soft, flat stomach, looking like a poor, hungry little ghost. Are you hungry? Do you stay in the car, or come in with me? Bai Zyaxia immediately jumped out of the car and paced towards the hospital. After walking a dozen steps, he found that there was no one around, and turned his head to look back, waiting for him. Guo Chaoming took something from the car and caught up with Bai Zyaxia in two steps. I envy Qin Xiao. Whenever I can have this treatment. Look at this cat's chest and back with hunger. Hearing his words, he ran upstairs. How could he know Bai Zyaxia's consideration, it's not good for a cat to stay in the car. She couldn't go to see Qin Xiao alone. And Bai Zyaxia was worried that she would get lost by jumping off the car and was forced to stay in Tongcheng. She was not sure that if she lost Song Bei, they would find her. It will be miserable to get lost, and the preparatory preparations are all in vain. You may also eat garbage with stray cats. Guo Chaoming talked to Bai Zixia all the way, one person and one cat, and went to Qin Xiao's ward in a harmonious way. I met several waves of passers-by on the road, and they all looked at Guo Chaoming with strange eyes especially when they found that the soldier in combat uniform was talking and crawling with a little wild cat next to his leg. When they got upstairs, everyone's eyes widened. Two younger girls whispered, Can this cat understand human speech? I'm not sure, I heard that there are military dogs in the army. Is this cat a military cat? The other girl with a ponytail widened her eyes, incredulous, really? Cats can also be trained. It must be true. Otherwise, why does he keep talking to the cat? Qin Xiao's ward is on the second floor and will arrive soon. Not long after Qin Xiao was sent to the military hospital, he woke up. Now Qin Xiao is out of danger, but he still needs to be hospitalized for a period of observation. Song Bei sat next to the hospital bed, sighing like a mother and teaching Qin Xiao, You are so impulsive every time you talk about you. Only the eyes are calm and deep, and they seem to hide the bright light of stars. His eyes are bright and his edge is hidden, and it doesn't look like a sick patient who has just woken up from a coma. Song Bei. His head hurt so much that he pressed his eyebrows, you have a great luck this time, don't you know? You were obviously wounded by a gunshot, so why are you still entangled with those outlaws? 
endless. Even if there is a discovery, if you miss this opportunity, there will be another time. We can wait, you don't need to wait for your life to fight. Captain, this old Liao is not just a member of the smuggling gang. Do you remember the kidnappers in Northern Ontario? Northern Ontario? Song Bei's heart moved, of course, those people are too vigilant. Plus there are too few clues, we have never found the middleman. You mean? Song Bei's eyes suddenly sharpened, these guys are not only members of the dongling smuggling gang, they are also kidnappers. Not bad. Qin Xiao leaned on the head of the bed, his loose posture still showed the sternness and coldness of a soldier, and said softly, I can be sure that this old Liao and the group of kidnappers in northern Ontario are. There are relationships. The cousin in northern Ontario is really cunning, and he escaped last time. No clues or traces of them have been found in northern Ontario. No one is seen, and it is more and more rampant in secret. Thinking of those missing children and girls, it is annoying. Qin Xiao had no strength to speak, and his voice was weak like rootless duckweed. The coldness in the words made people feel chills in their hearts, forget it, I'm worried that this old Liao has run away, and the women and children involved. He was passionate at that time, thinking of these kidnappers, he wanted to shoot them immediately, how could Lao Liao run away? Song Bei understood now, he said. Qin Xiao is not impulsive and mindless, these smuggling gangs run away, and they will be caught in the future. Where do you need him to drag the injured area with this group of people Zhou Xian, I didn't expect to find the clue of the kidnapper. Alas! Song Bei didn't know how to persuade him, you should be careful in the future, don't take your own life like this. You are gone, how can I explain to your family? You're young. Song Bei really had a headache. The people under him were all thorns, and they didn't listen to what he said. If you turn the mountain over, you can't find it, aren't you? They just knew that Qin Xiao needed support, and if they were faster, they could save his life. The people at the base are like ants on a hot pot, running into the mountains in waves. Guo Chaoming could not wait for three days and three nights without rest, to overturn the land. Qin Xiao twitched the corners of his mouth, okay, I see. He said he knew, his expression light. Song Bei understood, this kid still doesn't trust his words, and will definitely do the same next time. People don't take their lives as their lives, they are very tough. Song Bei was even more angry, and exploded. But he couldn't do anything about it. That's right. Qin Xiao suddenly remembered the colorful tiger walking towards him before he fell into a coma. After he woke up, the doctors took turns asking him. Various examinations made him physically and mentally exhausted. Now I have to rest for a while before I remember this, how did you find me? I clearly remember that I bumped into a tiger. But there was no sign of being bitten by a beast on his body, even if the support came in time. He had already entered the tiger's mouth, how could he escape? Yes, yes. I haven't told you about this yet. Song Bei suddenly became interested and wanted to see Qin Xiao's face change, do you know who rescued you? Qin Xia rarely sees the calm and steady leader showing a mysterious yet excited expression. I'm in a coma. Captain Song was choked by Qin Xiao's indifferent expression, are you stupid, ask me about this and his throat choked, I know, you don't know. My I mean let you guess. I will never escape from those people. Qin Xiao was indifferent, with a cold and handsome face. Song Bei, he knew. Qin Xiao is the most boring boy. His temperament is like an old antique, and he is cold like ice cubes on weekdays. What a pity for that good face. Why didn't it grow on him? Song Bei regretted countless times. This handsome appearance should be smiling more so that he can find a daughter-in-law. Bastard. Qin Xiao has utterly ruined his life. Song Bei felt even more depressed when he thought of his daughter-in-law. With a bunch of bachelors in his hands, the emperor was really not in a hurry for the eunuchs, and he was in a hurry to death. 
Song Bei was worn out by Qin Xiao's indifferent temper, you guessed wrong. Hey! Qin Xiao was a little surprised. Knock knock knock. Come in, the door is open. Guo Chaoming with a smiling face pushed open the door, Qin Xiao turned his head to look, Guo Chaoming poked at the door. There is a cat, walking slowly into the ward with an elegant kitten. The green and blue eyes looked around, as if looking at the environment of the ward. This is a double ward with a clean and tidy environment. The bed on the right was empty, and a young man in a white hospital gown was sitting on the bed on the left. Bananch head, sword eyebrows, and star eyes, high nose bridge. The coldness condensed between the deep brows was softened by the pale sickness, and only the dark pupils were staring at him in surprise and surprise. Being stared at by such a good-looking brother soldier, Bai Ziaxia was a little embarrassed. His paws tugged at his ears, trying to keep the graceful kitten, jumped onto the chair beside the hospital bed and squatted down. Someone came with a cat. Qin Xia recognized Bai Ziaxia at a glance, with her green and blue eyes, these cat eyes really impressed him deeply. The cat he fed twice, then disappeared. Qin Xiao didn't take it to heart. At that time, he saw that the cat was so hungry that he seemed to starve to death if he didn't feed him anything. He only brought it food for several days. Later, the kitten disappeared. Qin Xiao didn't take it to heart, but he didn't expect to meet him in his ward. Head of the regiment. Qin Xiao looked at Song Bei and the questioning in his eyes was very obvious. Qin Xiao looked at Song Bei and Guo Chaoming. Guo Kaoming's words are interesting. The eyes swiveled back and forth between the two of them, and finally moved slowly to the squatting Persian cat. This cat is much more embarrassed than the last time he saw it. Yes. Qin Xiao stared at Bai Ziaxia, it saved me. Song Bei's inexplicable betrayal and excitement, Guo Kaoming's words and Bai Ziaxia with a very different style. The experienced Captain Qin first positioned Bai Ziaxia. Song Bei smiled kindly, Little Qin, you have to thank him. That's why I said, you've had great luck this time, and God didn't tell you to die. The passionate leader Song secretly expects his subordinates to change their faces and be stunned. Captain Song's expectations naturally cannot be shown on his face. After all, he is as stable as the old head of Mount Tai. Captain Song's face was as steady as an old dog, he sat upright and looked at Qin Xiao with serious eyes. Telling gossip, especially to a guy who doesn't know anything, is very emotional. Guo Chaoming also wants to talk. Song Bei, I think you don't want to find a wife. So, for the third time, he refused Guo Chaoming, who came up to grab the job and said, your speech is upside down and there is no formality, so let me do it. Guo Chaoming, the first level official crushed people to death, forget it, give you a face. Song Bei rubbed his hands together and told Qin Xiao four animal legends in a mysterious and cadenced tone, as if he was expecting cross talk. Shock. Cannibal tigers take the initiative to carry seriously injured people's children down the mountain The legendary Persian cat communicated with people many times and took the initiative to bring the little warriors to find people Tigers and domestic cats fight against desperados to protect the seriously wounded The love of the cat is not over, the Persian cat went down the mountain after the incident and took the initiative to visit with the car Oh, Song Bei's expectant eyes dimmed. Just this little reaction, no change in face. Happy and excited? You were rescued by the cat. Tell the tiger to drag it down the mountain. The danger is at stake, and they will be held hostage by outlaws. It's the tiger and the Persian cat who fought wits and bravery with the outlaws for you, and gave their two. Leader Song was not reconciled, don't you want to say something? Express your opinion. For example, tell a story about yourself and the cat. Smile. Song Bei felt that what he said was so good, Qin Xiao's response was flat, he felt uncomfortable. So, the three of Lao Liao have been arrested. Qin Xiao's eyes were deep, there is a breakthrough in the case in northern Ontario. Song Bei Bei Ouer, 
the police academy is more suitable for you. Song Bei really wanted to see Qin Xiao change his face and was rescued by a cat. What a fortune, what a miracle. The headlines on the news front page are enough, legendary experience. In the end, this guy didn't change his face at all, his expression was cold and indifferent, and he didn't have the excitement that a miracle happened to him. The client was cold and indifferent, but the people who stayed out of it, were more excited than the client. Boring. Since Song Bei met Qin Xiao, I have never seen Qin Xiao change his face. This subordinate is always cold and indifferent, with no expression. This is the way of doing tasks and daily life. With a happy and irritable expression, Song Bei is very worried. Song Bei thought he could ask Qin Xiao to change, so please give me some reaction. Little bastard. Clap clap. A crisp slap sounded, Guo Chaoming cheered, Captain, you speak so well. It's as if you've seen it with your own eyes, and it sounds very exciting. Song Bei glanced at him, those who should have responded did not respond, and those who should not have mixed in blindly. You have a lot of energy. Song Bei's attitude towards Guo Chaoming was to reprimand him with a blank face, what's the matter with you, go and prepare the meal. The doctor said that Xiao Qin had lost too much blood, so he had to make up for it. Guo Chaoming, oh! The head of the regiment was beaten by Brother Qin again, and he was in a bad mood. He understood. Qin Xiao's injuries were all on his lower abdomen, and his hands could move freely without affecting his movements. He opened the military folding knife, lowered his eyes slowly, and peeled the apple. The slender and long apple peel fell to the ground, Qin Xiao cut off a small piece of the pulp and handed it to Bai Xiaoxia with a fruit knife. Bai Xiaoxia's moist nose moved, the tip of her nose smelled the fragrance of apples, saliva secreted uncontrollably, and she swallowed. Bai Xiaoxia is really hungry. He didn't get a drop of water all day, and he didn't eat anything. I just climbed up to the second floor. The hunger was forgotten by Bai Xiaoxia after seeing Qin Xiao, who was desperately rescued. At this moment, he smelled the fresh and crispy apple pulp, and without thinking, he stretched his paws to hug. The little furry claws paused in the air again, Bai Xiaoxia turned over the claws, and her pink meat pads were covered with dirt and dust. Meow Bai Xiaoxia was a little embarrassed, and her long-term habit of being a human made her unbearable to eat dirty things. But you can't call a sick person and keep holding an apple for yourself to chew on, Bai Xiaoxia's little head turned left and right, looking around. Meow. Wait for me, Bai Xiaoxia caught a glimpse of Comrade Guo who opened the dinner table with broken thoughts. Clinging to the cuffs of his trousers, yelling and circling. Guo Chaoming is unveiling the white foam plastic lunch boxes. Four big men ate, all of them were tired and hungry. Guo Chaoming bought seven dishes. Open the lunch box, the rich rice fragrance hits the nose and mouth. Bai Xiaoxia clutched her flat belly and cried out pitifully. The sound of whimpering, sobbing, and grievances made people soften their hearts. Don't be too cute. Wait, wait. The meal hasn't started yet. Guo Chaoming held wooden chopsticks in his hand, Bai Xiaoxia kept spinning beside his legs and kept looking at the lunch box suggestively. The dining table is not high, in fact, with Bai Xiaoxia's jumping power, it is easy to jump on the dining table. But she has self-knowledge, she is dirty and a cat, how can she jump on the dining table and cause trouble to others? Guo Chaoming lost his temper by being entangled by Bai Xiaoxia. Bai Xiaoxia turned around in a hurry, and tried to raise her claws beside his legs to order the lunch box, understood? Rip off the top half for me. Guo Chaoming understands it in seconds. He saw the cat holding his small head up, looking eagerly at the dishes on the table. I'll see you later. Bai Xiaoxia is angry, this idiot. The cat's little paws kept patting Guo Chaoming's calf fiercely and fiercely, staring at the lunch box, his paws apart and tearing at the sides, tear off half of the lunch box for me. She hasn't eaten an apple for a long time. Bai Xiaoxia's hometown is rich in apples. 
Before he died in his last life, he ate it almost two or three times a day. Click, she loves to chew. Guo Chaoming watched Bai Ziaxia's soft cat fur rubbing against him, recalling his rich experience in raising cats, he was blessed to the soul. Malu packed up the food and prepared to bring the entire dining table to the hospital bed. I squatted down and stroked Bai Ziaxia Wan Yoyo's head soothingly, be good, give me a touch. Bai Ziaxia, does this one think she is here to touch? Am I such an unrestrained cat? Meow. The long fluffy tail behind Bai Ziaxia's buttocks went up and down, clapping, Meow you fool, you have a smart face. The cat's face covered by the beautiful long hair can't stop the Persian cat from being unlovable and hating. Bai Ziaxia has no temper after being Rua. Song Bei, just want to laugh. It was also the first time that Qin Xiao saw such a cat with such a vivid and rich expression that seemed to be human. Qin Xiao spoke calmly and calmly, but not a question sentence, and conveyed Bai Ziaxia's appeal with certainty. Heard this with great joy, here is a wise man. Meow. You idiot, look at people and learn more about cats. The little chick with the small head pecking at the rice seems to be chaotic up and down, and stretches out the tender claws of the cat, and rejects the palm that hits the front, meow you fool, I don't play with fools. The left paw of the squatting kitten pressed against Guo Kaoming's right hand. Song Bei couldn't bear it any longer. Seeing Guo Kaoming's confusion, he patted his thigh and laughed wildly, Xiao Guo, fortunately you didn't listen to me. Guo Chaoming. Hey? Song Bei warned very seriously, daughter-in-law, let's not be in a hurry, let's wait. It doesn't matter if we can't ask for it for the time being, I'm afraid you won't lose money by stealing chickens. The cat can't deal with it, and if you can't cheat and go home, how can you expect your daughter-in-law to go home? Dreaming comes faster. Alas, my subordinate brothers who are singles, Song Bei is sad every day. How come the little guy can't learn his maturity and stability? Song Bei felt even more sad when he thought about it. No one knows about the sadness of the head of Song, and no one pays attention to the sorrow of the head of Song. The attention of Qin Xiao and Guo Chaoming revolved around Bai Ziaxia, the round head of the unkempt cat was connected up and down, and the pupils of different colors were bright and beautiful. Guo Chaoming was a little embarrassed. Old. Bai Ziaxia didn't touch him, but he wanted to touch it. Deliberately stretched out her empty left hand, and the claws quickly bypassed Bai Ziaxia. Use the skills of a scout. Shaking a fake move, taking advantage of the cat's tactical retreat, he made a sneak attack from the base of his tail in three steps. Grab the tip of the fluffy little tail, hold the cat's back, and rua her crazy. Bai Xia Xia. Block the front but not the back. He was successfully attacked by Guo Chaoming very thiefly. Bai Ziaxia's chassis was unstable, and her little claws couldn't grasp the ground. Gilyalu followed Guo Kaoming's strength and turned it out. The world was spinning, and when the cat recovered, it lay down and slumped under the dining table. Bai Ziaxia. Woohoo, I'm not clean anymore, I want to take a bath. Forget it but also use the art of war. Bullying my cat cat with short legs and hands. She rushed out of the dining table aggressively, Guo Chaoming succeeded in one move, and was satisfied. Smoke away, run away. Bai Ziaxia stuck out a cat's head from under the dining table and looked left and right. You're still not a man. Bai Ziaxia, meow meow meow. Gan. The kitten is so cute and fierce. Song Bei was able to hear the scolding from the cat's long meow with only one meow. Bai Ziaxia, curse. Fist pressed to his lips, he coughed softly, Qin Xiao smiled a little, and the tail of his voice raised slightly, come and eat. Before Bai Ziaxia walked over, she shook her frizzy hair. He ran under the dining table again, his body was shaking. After failing to turn it over several times, she used her claws to carefully comb the messy hair. She seems to be a little girl who doesn't want to go out in a sloppy way. 
she has to make sure that her beautiful long hair is lying down smoothly and without shame, and then she walks out of the dining table with satisfaction. It's that elegant Persian cat again, but it's a little grey. Qin Xiao and Song Bei, oh lifting her big tail, the cat jumped lightly on the small stool. I found several pieces of apple meat neatly placed in the snow white plastic lunchbox. It is estimated that Guo Chaoming tore it off when he rolled the dining table by himself as compensation. That kid is funny. Cats love to be clean and love to lick their paws from time to time. Bai Xiaxia is afraid of getting dirty and eating hair, and has never had this habit. The claws and claws are often washed with clean stream water in the mountains, but now there is no such condition. She hesitated, slowly looking at White Claw Claw unwillingly. Not really wanting to lick. Very vivid. For some reason, Qin Xia read his disgust from the fluffy, expressionless cat face. Qin Xia, you cat, you love cleanliness so much. He didn't even want to lick his own claws. He had never seen such a furry cat that loved beautiful and neat. Meow Bai Xiaxia retracted her claws, simply lowered her head, gave up using her claws, bit the crisp apple pulp, and ate it with a slap. He just bites the apple with his mouth, his furry claws press down on the small bench, and he curls up pitifully. The pulp was moving around in the lunchbox, Bai Xiaxia had a hard time eating. I'll wipe it for you. Meow her palms were itchy, and her ears were shaking with stress. Qin Xiao's heart softened a little bit, and the furry touch would be wonderfully self-satisfying, which Qin Xiao is at this moment. He also wiped the nails that Bai Xiaxia stretched out, you should sharpen your nails. Cats love to scratch, and they also mean to sharpen their nails. The sharper it is, the better it will work. This cat, not only loves cleanliness and doesn't like to lick, but also doesn't seem to sharpen its claws. Qin Xiao carefully wiped the kitten's two front paws clean, and let go of the handkerchief. Thank you Bai Xiaxia thanked very seriously, her heart bubbling with joy, she chose the right person, not everyone is willing to be considerate of animals, and will look for opportunities to rely on him later. I save your life, so it's not too much to support me? Bai Xiaxia looked at the young man with an indifferent face, touched the back of Qin Xiao's hand with his clean claws, and continued to bow his head Kakeka I thought to myself, this person looks so indifferent that it is difficult to get along with his body, but he is a gentle person in his bones. After all, people who are willing to take cats seriously will have a soft heart. Bai Xiaxia held the apple block wholeheartedly and chewed it, and the fluffy white claws pressed against the peel, eating happily. Guo Chaoming went out to wash his hands and returned to the ward with Liu Jianhua. Liu Jianhua was sweating profusely, and was carrying two aluminum lunch boxes. Song Bei also came back after washing his hands, handed Qin Xiao a wet towel and told him to wipe his hands. The dining table was placed on the hospital bed, Liu Jianhua opened the aluminum lunch box, which was full of old hen soup and white porridge. You take good care of it during this time, don't worry about things in the base, we will have a trial with Lao Liao. Song Bei pushed the old hen soup and sticky white porridge in front of Qin Xiao. The dishes on the table are full of meat and meat. Most of the meals are light in taste, not spicy or greasy. The three of them were hungry, and occasionally said a few words between meals. Mostly, Song Bei was chattering, telling Qin Xiao what happened in the base for the past two days. Occasionally, gossip is inserted and Bai Xiaxia nibbles at the apple while pricking up his flat ears to listen, this man is no weaker than a woman when he goes sips. Listen, Head Song knows a lot of gossip. Song Bei is a very interesting guy. The speech was witty and witty, with a cadenced tone. It was like listening to a cross-talk show. Bai Xiaxia listened carefully and watched it like a TV show. Bai Xiaxia looked around and listened to all directions, but no one supported Head Song except herself. Give him some bitter tears. Song Bei was talking in high spirits. He felt thirsty and raised his hand to get a cup. On the opposite side, Qin Xiao's handsome face was cold and handsome, his sword eyebrows raised, 
his eyes were a little erratic and he seemed to be distracted. The little comrade surnamed Lu had his head buried in the bowl of rice, his eyes fixed on the meat and vegetables without moving, and his chopsticks swished quickly. Well, Guo Chaoming has made some progress. Also know to listen to yourself, eh? Head Song glanced at his position and calculated where Guo Kaoming's eyes would fall. He turned his head silently, and met a pair of bright and dazzling, serious eyes full of expectation. A cute Persian cat sits gracefully, with its tail drooping under the small bench and swaying slowly. It sits upright with its head held high. It looks like a well-behaved and obedient elementary school student is in class, his ears are raised high, and he still has half an apple in his mouth. Listen carefully. The cat's eyes became brighter when he saw him, as if to say, keep talking. Song Bei, I got cute. But he still has an MMP that he really wants to say. You can't rua a cat to eat, Captain Song suppressed his itching heart, and said, you are not even a cat. Qin Xiao glanced indifferently while holding the lunchbox, and continued to drink chicken soup with his head down. Guo Chaoming also cast a glance at him, and turned his face to look at Bai Ziaxia Hehil. El Yu Jianhua, who has a deep love for food, raised his face blankly, scratched his head naively, with a grain of rice sticking to the corner of his mouth, Captain, what's the matter? What did you just say? I didn't hear. Song Bei had a heartache, rolled his eyes angrily, eat yours. El Yu Jianhua is still naive and happily continues to cook, ang. Song Bei, is more angry. He rambled for most of the day, and the best audience was a cat. Alas, but Bai Ziaxia's small eyes are quite a shared sense of accomplishment. On weekdays, there is no chance to gossip. People who can talk don't like to listen, and there are a lot of things they can't talk about. The prudent and mature old head is very sad and he is still looking forward to seeing his cat. It seems that it is not impossible to tell the cat. At least, people have a reaction. Heartbroken Headsong felt that he was hurt by the indifferent crit of the team members, the old heart was crying, and decided to serve a bowl to eat in silence. What Bai Ziaxia was looking forward to, the thief meowed loudly, why don't you talk about it? Song Bei, I have done something wrong. Captain Song needs a strong arm to lean on. Bai Ziaxia didn't listen to the gossip, and drooped her ears down, making Song Bei feel guilty for being immoral. Bai Ziaxia, that's right, half listening to gossip is uncomfortable. She ate the apple, rubbed her belly, and felt full. I have been jumping up and down in the mountains for more than half a year, eating fruit all day, and occasionally stealing the nuts hidden by the little squirrel to fight teeth. Actually, Bai Ziaxia really wanted to eat. She was struggling with how to speak. A small bowl of white porridge and egg cake was placed on Bai Ziaxia's small stool. The white porridge was put by Guo Chaoming, and he tore up a plastic lunch box for Bai Ziaxia as a bowl. The egg cake was picked by Qin Xiao into Bai Ziaxia's lunch box. Qin Xiao deliberately tore the cake into small pieces and Bai Ziaxia would be very uncomfortable to eat. Meow Bai Ziaxia stretched out her tongue and licked the white porridge. It was neither hot nor cold, and the temperature was just right. Many people say that cat tongues are more sensitive than human tongues. Bai Ziaxia didn't eat hot food after passing through, so she didn't know the truth of what she said. The porridge was thick and soft, with a layer of rice oil floating on the surface. It is fragrant and it is very appetizing when paired with egg pancakes. The egg pancake was browned and the rice porridge was white and bright. Meow. Bai Ziaxia stared at the white porridge and egg pancake and cried twice, drinking porridge and eating eggs, the past life was an ordinary meal for her, it could even be said to be simple. But looking at it now, saliva kept coming out of her mouth. Bai Ziaxia has a kind of sour happiness that tears are about to burst out. My heart is heavy, like it is full of things, and I feel sad. The little head raised several times to look at Guo Chaoming and Qin Xiao, raised and lowered his head, both of them were eating. In fact, Bai Ziaxia was hesitating just now, 
should she beg for food for herself. But how? It is right for a cat to beg people for food. When Byzaxia did this for the first time, the thought of begging ran around in her mind for several times, but she didn't say it out. It seems that she has a mental disorder, she is used to being a human being. To become a wild cat is to eat by yourself, really speaking. There is always a sense of embarrassment and a shame to say it. The cat's round head was buried in the big lunch box, looking so cute. She licked a few mouthfuls of white porridge and thought, Guo Chaoming has raised cats. She told herself earlier that she bought food for her, but she thought it was a joke. He didn't give it to himself at first. Could it be that he wanted to wait for the porridge to cool before moving it to himself? After all, cats don't know how to eat and avoid their tongues. It will always be hot. Thoughts lingered in her mind, by Zyaxia thought again, she is really lucky to run into such a warm person. Three and one cat eat quietly. The afterglow of the setting sun fell on the ground, and the orange or gilt-like light shined into the ward through the window. The fine particles of light and dust are clearly visible, and there is a different kind of warmth. Boom! Boom! The heavy and loud knock on the door hurriedly fell, Song Bei frowned slightly, put down his chopsticks and wanted to get up, Guo Chaoming beat him, and his long legs stepped to the door two or three times. The door was suddenly opened, and the guest who knocked on the door was not paying attention, and was raising his hand to pat. The door suddenly opened, her eyes were empty, and she staggered forward two steps along the photographed arm. Guo Chaoming didn't mean to help others, he just got out of the way. The man shook his body only to stabilize his body, and his face was hard to look at. Bai Zyaxia's keen insight allowed her to capture the woman's face changing almost instantaneously. The woman showed a shallow and gentle smile, Qin Xiao, I heard that you were injured during the task. Your father asked me to come and see you. Don't be impulsive in the future. Bai Zyaxia blinked, unable to imagine that the woman who spoke softly and softly was the same person who slammed on the door and slammed the door. It turns out that the head of Song is also there. When Kyo Hawaii exchanged a few words with Song Bei, and asked Qin Xiao in a soft voice if he was seriously injured and needed to stay in the hospital for a few days. It's very caring. He also smiled and explained what he had just knocked on the door, I'm really sorry, I just heard the news that Qin Xiao was injured and was hospitalized, and I was so anxious. His father was too, and the phone kept urging. I was impatient to knock on the door. It's a little heavier, but I didn't expect it to disturb you. No, no. Bai Zyaxia found that Song Bei smiled as if he had met him. He is so friendly and approachable that it makes one feel good at first glance. But if there seems to be nothing to bring out the style of a regiment level leader, the posture is full, Qin Xiao's injury is not serious, if there is no major problem, this time it is a second class medal of merit. Qin Xiao is a good comrade, alas, he's just too impulsive. Song Bei laughed, but young people, you have to have this kind of aggressiveness, and you will have great prospects in the future. When Kai Hui came to visit Qin Xiao, but spent most of the time talking to Song Bai Juan. Bai Zyaxia couldn't help but look at Qin Xiao, the indifference between Qin Xiao's eyebrows almost came out. With Wen Kaiohuai's soft and delicate words in her ears, Bai Zyaxia lowered her head worriedly, and rubbed Qin Xiao's tensed arm near the bed. The skin felt soft and warm, he was slightly startled, and tilted his head to see a round head with thin cat ears rubbing against him. Qin Xiao moved his arm, so Bai Zyaxia cried softly. The cry was thin and weak, and the whimper was vague. Qin Xiao had a feeling that he was comforted, it was not just a coincidence but the cat was really comforting him. Smart pets seem to be able to perceive people's emotions, but Qin Xiao can't guess. But he saw Mao er staring at him, and saw that when Kai Hui's dullness had dissipated. The suppressed irritability of the pure black pupils was no longer so heavy, but instead revealed a very faint smile. Subconsciously, he raised his arm slightly and rubbed by Zyaxia's head in return. Warm. Soft touch skin. 
The furry and cuteness makes people feel better by three points. When Kyohui swept over the dirty by Zyaxia, the disgust in her eyes was fleeting, but the smile on her face was still thick, kind, and gentle. Occasionally give by Zyaxia some side dishes, and drink chicken soup quietly with her head down, only the indifference between her brows is much thicker than before when Kyohui came. An interesting thing, when Kyohui kept saying thank you to Song Bei, thanking him for helping take care of Qin Xiao. Song Bei deliberately praised Qin Xiao inside and out, and his posture was to praise him to heaven. Finally, it ended with a sigh, Qin Xiao, this child, I really wish it was my own son. When Kyohui's smile became more and more fake, and finally she couldn't hold it anymore. The standard virtuous and virtuous housewife smiled, hung like a mask on her face, and said dryly, Leader Song, stop joking, when I look back, Lao Qin knows that I have messed with his son. If you lose it, don't worry about me. After saying this, Wen Kaiohui got up and left immediately on the pretext of something at home. That posture, as if there was a wolf behind him, and he didn't want to stay here for another second. Bai Zyaxia scratched her ears in doubt, brushing aside the indifferent Qin Xiao, smelling the family ethics drama. This gentle and gentle lady, who can't wait to write a fake pattern on her face, and the minister Qin mentioned in her words, 80% are Qin Xiao's father and stepmother. Besides, this Ms. Wen didn't look at Qin Xiao much after entering the door. After all, he came to visit him, his eyes were erratic when he spoke, and Qin Xiao was completely ignored in the back. It seems that there is no such person, Bai Zyaxia can't guess whether it is because of her guilty conscience or disgust, or because of other things, she dare not look at Qin Xiao.